And now, the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Yeah! Yes! It's the bonfire, everybody. And we are live on a Wednesday. Comedy Central Radio Series X at 95. I'm Big J Okerson. That's Dan Soder. Yawning right in your fucking face. Yeah, you don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck no more. I wear jackets <laughs> inside. I don't give a fuck. I wear a light spring coat all oh, goddamn day. Oh, nice fitting light skin. To, uh, uh, light skin. To light. <laughs> um, I just, I'm we were saying boy. right before the microphones went hot, we were laughing because we just did a... Uh, we just did part of the Lost Tapes with our guest will be uh, Ali Sadiq, who yeah. was just absolutely fantastic. Awesome guest. And we dig into some of his uh, his prison life stuff that he had. Interesting. And we were just saying he was getting he's getting Black Lou all geeked up. Yeah, Black Lou. Black, Black Lou ain't taking no shit no more so in this room. if one of us catches a shiv during this, it's because of the Lost yeah. Tapes episode for tomorrow. I ain't afraid to go away. Yeah. I ain't afraid to go away. I'll yeah. murder everybody motherfucker in this studio. I'll get my own yeah. radio show. <laughs> yeah, from the joint. Yeah. I'll be podcasting from C Block. <laughs> Most downloads. <laughs> yeah. Black oh. Lou's going to go extra black. I say he's just drinking, he's got an open hot sauce in front of him. No food. He's just eating hot sauce. He's going. He's going. He's getting for himself it. fired up. He is going. I don't for give it. a shit about hot blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Diabetes. Fuck y'all. I'm. I, the story that I, I want to start with is something that you were you went out to get refresh uh, to smoke and get refreshments. Mm-hmm. You weren't smoking. You were enjoying. You were accompanying Lou to smoke. Yeah. Well, no. What I need to do is get the hell out of the. We did that whole pre-record, and I'm yeah. like, it's hot, weirdly hot today. And that was that room. We were in uh, the Deb and Ben studio. R.I.P. And a R.I.P. It's R.I.P. Deb and Ben. There's no more Golf Channel. They're gone. No, there's a Golf Channel, right? Well, yeah, but it doesn't yeah. matter if there's no Deb and Ben. Could you imagine listening to golf on the radio? <laughs> and there is the approach shot. I mean, you gotta be listening. You can't even build suspense. He goes, "It's going. It's it's near. It's going towards the hole." I get no, no. It, oh, it's just <laughs> no. it's just resting on a hill. Oh no! There he oh. is. There's the dream lady, though. Oh, dream, Debbie. Jacob, would you quit everything to be her caddy if once a month you got to see her in her underwear and bra? Everything. <laughs> yeah, you have to quit everything. Would you walk away from everything in your you, life? By the way, that you hold dear. And what if I told you that Deb has a strict no sharks policy? <laughs> also, uh, if you watch Blue Planet, she'll slap you in front of a bunch of other men. Yeah, my if, answer's no. Oh, yeah, I gotta a, draw a line somewhere. That's, yeah, that's, that's no how much sharks. You, that's how much you love sharks. You <laughs> no love sharks, shark. oh, dude. I'm gonna get you some shark sheets for your bed. Oh my God, I, Dan! I will, to. I will sleep in them. <laughs> I know you will. Dude, That's they I mean. have to glow in the dark in yeah. some way. I mean, I'm going to find the best the shark sheets, just like shiny sharks, or just the jaws, just the skeleton of their jaws. Or we got to get you glow in the dark sharks for like your ceilings, so when it turns off, and you get yourself a nice woman, and she rolls over after you just ravishing her world, and looks up and just sees glow in the dark sharks all over you your see, ceiling. You never swam this deep, have you? <laughs> <laughs> this is uncharted. He goes, welcome to the shark's lair. You know, sharks do sleep after they fuck. <laughs> after they've done some fucking. Um, on-air would you donate your kidney to Deb Doninger? Good segue, Dan. God damn it, I'm feeling it, Jay. <laughs> You're so radio today, bro. I and we're coming back with a double we'll get the let out. I wouldn't because I know how this story ends up, and that God, proves God why you shouldn't it. ever wow. donate a kidney Thanks to anybody. Thanks for having fun, dude. Thanks for being oh, fun. Oh, but why? You could live with one, and people Thanks for being fun, Jacob. Really? You would just... No? All right. What you, you mean? Would, we, what if I told you we don't know the ending of this, but Deb would go on a date, just a date, if you gave her her kidney? An open mind. Oh. An open mind. Oh, well, here's what we're going to find out. Hey, Jacob... I'm very sorry to come to you with this. My daughter, who I love so dearly, needs a kidney. It turns out you're a perfect match. Oh, oh, you, oh, you're not going to give it to her because she's not going to marry you. You freaky piece of shit. Yeah. Oh, real nice, what Jacob. Is of, that the way you were behaved? Yeah. What kind of Renaissance law do you live by? I'm sorry. Do I have to give her to you, like oh. the old West or something? Because you've done <laughs> something for well, her. Well, my brother died, so I have to raise his family. Would you give a kidney <laughs> to? I'd give a kidney to you, buddy. I would, would, give a would you, you though? I would give. Would a you when it, if it really went down? Yeah, Jay. What would you really do it? Yes. No. <laughs> Carla. Carla says no. Carla, I mean, she was, she was with me for a long time. She knows my personality. Carla, Why do you would think you no? Give, Why do you would think you that? give Jay a kidney? 
Would I give Jay a kidney? Would you give Jay a kidney? If you if perfect match because they're really like, oh, that's fun. It's definitely yes. I mean, both of his, both of his are shutting down, but you've got one good I don't one. Know. Is there something I didn't know about you all these years? Is that you're really against kidney donation? Yeah. No, no, I'm really for kidney donation. I'm really for organ donation. But are you? But that's when they die. No, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, you're like take it <laughs> like, out of a corpse. I don't want. I guess to I fuck. have to, right? I Carl, can't you can no. have my eyes if I die. <laughs> oh, all right, Jerry Orbach. <laughs> just, look, just, uh, just my eyeballs. Look, uh, you know what I'm I guess, you, you know, can get my. I'm gonna donate to you my eyes and eyelids also, so it's not super weird. Just yeah. like you can put me in a nice like. I go. Is that? I go. If I squint my eyes right here, it reminds me of Jay. Is, is Jay grinning at me? I go. Carla, can you? <laughs> Carla, uh, can we get him taxidermied? If you're gonna take the eyes, that's all you see right here. Look. Yeah. I go. Carla, could you put on an Eagles jersey and we'll do two hours of radio? <laughs> I am an I am an organ donor, but even that freaks me out. Why? But I, I keep having dead. to. Too, but I, I keep mean, having like, to remind myself I'm not going to care when I'm dead. You're dead. Of course, do yeah. you think they're Trish not wants free? me to give her body to science? Do you think the they're weirdo? not going to do everything they could because you're an organ donor? Because that's a fear of mine. Yeah, I'm thinking. Well, we've tried to bring him back. Well, I hope they we need to try I again. They, I hope they <laughs> fuck They're going to try I'm one last time. Is what I'm afraid <laughs> yeah. of. I really. Oh, I want them to play with me. Yeah. I want them to pull my intestines out and slap each other. I want them to ask me shave weird things into my bush. Oh my god! Maybe make me give you a hand job by controlling my wrist. <laughs> yeah, and then like do things where you make my face look. I'm going like, oh, yeah, and I go like, mm, bottom lip bite. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Make him bite his bottom lip. That's I, great. He's I, so stiff. I caught Earl having sex with dead comedian Dan Soder. Oh, it was hilarious though. Yeah, it was fun. I'm not gonna make a whole thing he about goes, it. He does voices too, so it's kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, so, he, kind of, it's his hero. So you know, he had the a lot of fun. Was with his it. idol. I, well, uh, well, Carl, I can't believe Carl still has an answer. She would give me a kidney. Wait, okay, well, first of all, I'm reading that over there, and it turns out that we might be in this situation at some point because I'm an O blood type. Are you guys both O? o? Do you yeah. know your blood type, Jay? Huh? Do you know your blood type? No. Carla, do you know Jay's blood type? I don't remember. I knew it at one point. No, I don't think you know my blood yeah, type. Of course I knew. I knew she everything has to. about you. Yeah. I know my blood type. I mean. It's in my J file? I didn't know. Yeah. It's in my blood type? It's almost <laughs> weird to know that. Yeah. That almost feels threatening. Wasn't yeah. that, wasn't, didn't we have to know that for like a marriage certificate or something? I don't know. I mean, Or for when we had Isabella? I'm just saying we got together when we is, were, is when we were 20. You, we were 24 we were and 23. I don't know if you exchanged blood types. We had a, situation we had a that, kid yeah. together, dummy. It'd be funny if they didn't let you <laughs> That's pick a medical up, procedure. <laughs> yeah. If they didn't let you pick up Isabella from daycare unless you knew your wife's blood type. Yeah. <laughs> like, Should I know Isabella's blood type? You don't know Isabella's blood type? Do totally, I do. Yeah, of course. It's, What's uh, Isabella's? Come Isabella on, it's, 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 of course, I know, I know everything about you. I don't even know my blood type. Oh, not type. everything. <laughs> Adam told me some things last night. What? Welcome to new anal porn star, <laughs> Isabella. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> What's what's Isabella's blood type? Isabella's O like me. That's no. the best blood type. That's the good name of a biography. Oh, oh like, like me. me. <laughs> <laughs> the Isabella Okerson story. Oh, yeah. like me. That's a good one. By the way, it's got some good double entendre Thank there, you, too. Okerson. I just came to me. I'm a literary genius. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the reason I bring this up is because there's a man who donated his kidney to the woman he loves uh, to save her life, but then she turned around and said no to marriage. A man who donated the kidney to the woman he wa- uh, that he loves was overjoyed to save her life, but saddened when she said no to marriage. Simon Lewis popped the question to Mary Emanuel after nursing her back to health following both of their operations. However, the pair vowed to remain friends. <laughs> what wow. a dick. <laughs> and Simon said, I offered her my heart, but I had to settle for giving her my kidney. Whatever happens, sorry to do this in Jacob voice, <laughs> I'll never regret giving her the gift of life. They can't do this! I know, Jacob. They shouldn't I shouldn't be able to, Jacob. And Mary, so right. she added, he's my very best friend and always will be. The love uh-huh. of us, the love between us is real. He could have died doing what he did for me. And uh, wait, hang on. It, they continue. No, they do. Simon visited her every day, sometimes staying the night so he could help her get to and from the hospital. I mean, he also lost a kidney. He gave up a kidney and he was nursing her back. But he got a friend hug. Yeah, but do you have to like... He also helped dress, bathe, and feed her. That's where he paid off. Hell he got yeah. a bathing. And yeah. thanks, Mary took him on holiday. I got to wash her. On holiday to Spain, so they're clearly European, calling it holiday, fucking weirdos. To Spain, where they were away... Well, where they were away, a donor was found, but they did not get back to Britain. That's why. In time... I can't give you more kidney, so I'll give you mine. <laughs> I think this guy's been in love with her for 20 years. She, he's been oh, her. what a yeah. bitch. I felt incredibly flattered that he should want to marry me after seeing me at my absolute worst, but I let him down gently by saying I'd have to think about it. 
I think I'd worry if we got married in some way to damage our special friendship. And also, I don't want to get wed until I'm fully better health wise. Man, that's lying really asshole. So I, I, I let lying him down easy ass by, bitch. Letting down easy by saying I got to think about it. It's hilarious. I got to think about it. He goes, yeah, because when they asked me if I would give you a kidney, I was just like, yeah. He goes, that's crazy. You know what I didn't think about? <laughs> Saving your life. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but just I instinctually guess. did it. But uh, that's pretty cool. I guess you need your time to think about it. I love making must be beautiful. I'll be over here playing with the hole that used to be my second kidney. (laughs) I'm just going to try to stuff some stuff into my uh, kidney hole. (laughs) I'm going to go to Build-A-Bear and buy some stuffing for my kidney. Because there's a storm coming. And I just feel like it's really hurting my (laughs) kidney's car. I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. Um, Simon, where are you going, Simon? I mean, what's her thing, though? Should she have not accepted it because she was like, well, I don't want to marry this guy, so keep your kidney stupid. I'll just sit here dying. Funny story is she got dicked down by the kidney doctor. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, uh, you gave me a kidney, and then Dr. Edmonds made it shift when he blew my back out. He goes, oh. That's funny. He goes, wait a second. He goes, they did that to you while you were under? She's like, nah, before. And after. <laughs> she goes, you ever fucked on? <laughs> you ever fu- you ever on an fu- awesome working new kidney? <laughs> she goes, woof, boy, the blood gets pumping. <laughs> new kidney fucking's the best oh, kind. That first fuck with that fresh kidney's in there? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I, um, well, I was disheartened to hear that Carla wouldn't give me a kidney. I would give everybody in this room a kidney. Everybody. I, really, I didn't say I would give you a kidney. Everybody in this room. I didn't say I wouldn't give you a kidney. You, you, went, you, you didn't went, say you would. Uh, you didn't say you would. I mean, I, I feel like that's like a game time decision. Do I have to commit a kidney now? There's nothing wrong with your kidneys. You see, it's disloyalty like this that makes me uh, question Christine all the time. And now I make her do weird. Like, I go, put your arm out and let it get hit by the subway if you love me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys have that's drug addict behavior. <laughs> Yeah. You go, do you love me, baby? Do you love me, baby? You want to rob this store, baby? Stab, do you love me? stab yourself in the hand. <laughs> All right, baby. I'm going to do it, too. I'm going to do it, too, and I'm going to be right behind you. Did you hear Jay and Christine killed themselves Elliot Smith style? Just <laughs> jammed swords into their hearts? Did you just have the audacity to call me disloyal? (laughs) I was saying I'm just challenging because you wouldn't give me a kidney. I have to make sure Christine will give me a kidney. I guess now that I'm going to need this kidney. Christine's probably got some weird Armenian shitty blood type. Yeah, I think I'm like AB negative. That's really funny. Uh, You're never getting a kidney now. We cut her open. There was no kidneys. Just hair. Shaped like kidneys. More hair. (laughs) We cut it open. It was like cutting open a couch pillow. And when you open it, you hear in the distance, (laughs) <laughs> even, uh, even under this anesthesia, she just goes, <laughs> I would give you my kidney, Jay. Thanks, bro. You got it, bud. I'll should give... we all find out our blood types? I feel like we should, should we find out who give who kidneys. Yeah. Oh, kidney pair off like a dating I, game. There's no way my dad <laughs> knows my blood type. We will reveal. Guys, buddy system uh, at, uh, at the Kenny Rogers show, everyone pair up with their blood type match for kidney in case we get hung up. Trish probably thinks my blood type is Soko and Mixer. You, <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you want to know what I took to get him? Or? So go and lamb. Um, I mean, that's hilarious. You said that uh, Trish the Dish wants you to donate her body to science. That's great. So funny. She that's goes, donate to the University of Colorado Medical Science. I'm really? Like, Why? I go, I can see think, being like, take my organs, but If you up. think, if I don't have a lot of money, that I'm not going to have them do electro thing where they make her move around and dance <laughs> when she's first dead. If you think I'm not going to do that, then this woman should not put me in. Uh, don't give me the responsibility of taking care of her body. No, unless you don't think Dan's going to make an Instagram video of you herky jerking around while you're dead to Electric Avenue. Oh, dude, <laughs> we're going to rock down to and Electric then, And it's all for me to... T to D lives. It's, it's, all, <laughs> it's all for me to... Pr- I go, hey, everybody, it's me and my mom doing a weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> Uh, don't forget, I'm going to be at the Columbus Funny Bone, June 9th to the 11th, just just to promote something. Uh, John and George says the kidney story sounds shady. What, I don't, what does that mean? John, you there? Well, it sounds a lot like the like the Lost episode where uh, Locke gets scammed out of his kidney from his uh, his stepdad, and I'm not I'm not sure. Maybe this guy didn't get catfished into thinking that. Uh, he was going to get some to give away his kidney. Oh, you think that this woman was like, I'll marry you. And then he did it and she was like, mm, we're just such good friends. Yeah, just like in Lost. I didn't. I never watched Lost. So you got to catch me up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what, what a way late in the game thing to get angry at someone they haven't seen it. Now if they haven't seen it, you're just, it's just like Lost. Just, I never saw it. Ah, come dude. on. It was only the biggest show from 2001 to 2008. It was big. I never watched it either. You never got into it? 
No, but maybe you're right. Maybe he was catfished a little oh, bit. Oh, I think he's absolutely right. Um, is that a good definition of catfishing? I think it's betr- I think it's trickery. Yeah, it's old school trickery. Isabella has been watching the catfish show on MTV. I don't. I can't watch the show. I find it boring. Because I like you watching watch people intervention. Get- I do watch it. You watch adult catfish. You see Christina's roll her eyes and nod her head? Yeah. So what? <laughs> it's a great show. It's hilarious. It's not hilarious. I just said about intervention, it sounds like all the music is written to sound like Elliot Smith songs. Mm-hmm. It does, doesn't it? It's Jay didn't know who that music. was. I guess. Oh, yeah. They always do things like three months later, and they're like, I feel so good. Everything's back to normal. I'm, I'm functioning well. I'm living a great life. I'm like, Hug the last train. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a um, go. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then it's always, and then the writing is always just like two months later, she was blowing a guy under a bridge. For yeah. <laughs> is this Elliot Smith music? Johnny Walker. <laughs> she uh, <laughs> out of rehab and feeling good about herself. She went back to Mobile, Alabama. I got back all my children, and I started working, and everything went great. But I, I watch intervention so I can just I, I want to do an, enough more than those fathers to make sure Isabella is not a prostitute junkie. That's it. That's a pretty good, Carla. You got to feel pretty good about that. Knowing Jay's got a good, you know, bar set. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Send them bar high. Yeah, That's he goes. Right. Let me compare myself to the fathers that have done the absolute worst, I've and got, I'll do a I'll little read, bit. Let me better. read you my list. Just, some of the things. Just some, two some, clicks some, higher. Let me read you a list of some of my don'ts here. Okay. I have, uh, do not take her. Just me and her bikini shopping. Okay. Uh, <laughs> done. That's a good one. That'll keep you off needle drugs. No father son tanning booths anymore. Okay. That's a thing of the past. Okay. Uh, <laughs> father son. Oh, sorry, daughter, daughter, father, father, daughter. Fathers and your That's a lot of pressure. <coughs> it is a lot of pressure. A lot you of know how pressure. badly I love to go bikini shopping. I know. You try to take me on it, and I'm like, Jay, I'm not your daughter. It's a big, big deal. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody will go with me. Um, but I think definitely he's got a point that that, that woman definitely lied. Well, don't you think the guy would be making a bigger yeah, definitely. I don't know why I'm rain manning it with somebody definitely. Is, yeah, definitely. Definitely a lie. Well, uh, George Lopez got a kidney from his wife and then took off, right? Say again? George Lopez got a kidney from his wife and took off. He got a kidney from his wife, took off. Tracy Morgan did Tracy it. Morgan, I think the same thing also. That's great. The old comic thing. He was waiting for a kidney. Like, back on tour. Later. <laughs> yeah. it's. I mean, it definitely. look, it doesn't read well, for sure. But at the same time... Uh, there's mean, no like, way it could. George Lopez but spits But it's feasible. People could break up after a donation of a kidney. I mean, that doesn't seem like, you know... I don't think that sounds impossible. It's just crazy when you stack it right... Next to each other, yeah. It's when you're oh like, don't watch the kidney, and they broke up, and he you're goes, like, what a fucking monster! Kidney took, everything's a okay. I'm gonna need you out by Thursday. He goes, you know what? He goes, ooh, you know what's not gonna make it? Us. So get out. <laughs> kidney looks like it's permanent. This is not not so much. I'm gonna have to another one in 15 years, but there'll be a new girl with two kidneys. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, I gotta pretty much do in my Tinder profile say looking for a girl with two kids. Uh, Stephanie Falcone says catfish stinks because it's the same thing every time. They're always trying to find the best in the catfish who has some weak sob story about the reason they were so mean. Yeah, I don't watch the show. How's the catfish person mean? I thought the person who gets catfished is mean. It depends. Usually the person who gets catfished shows up and they're pretty angry about it. I'd be furious. Well, yeah, we watched it on Skanks, but there was that one last week where the guy's just like... Oh, yeah, 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 the video. That girl who just looks like the lead singer from Alabama Shakes. He got whole. Yeah, and the wrong. guy, and the guy's just like, uh, he's like, look at you. This ain't what the picture you sent me, my beautiful chocolate princess. And he just goes, I could cry. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the funniest videos. Guys getting, yeah, guys getting catfished. I could cry because they go, they go through a lot. Well, are you oh, going yeah. more Elliot Smith? You going more suicide music, Christine? What are you trying to get us? Well, you said George Lopez did it, but I didn't know Tracy Morgan also left his wife. I, I mean, just, you know, fact check that. But uh, I'm pretty sure she gave him like a... Would you ever, let, wife, would you ever like, let Jay see his daughter if he got a kidney from you and then split up? <laughs> take my kidney back. How would you do that? Oh, you're Colombian. You have your ways. I have, I have people. <laughs> She's yeah. coming for it. I'll make a couple phone calls. Yeah, go, Jay will wake up in a tub of ice. I go, Jay, why do you... <laughs> she'll, be like my it follow, she'll be like my it follows. Carla's always just like a couple, a couple yards behind me ready she's, to take her kidney back. And she's, she's got a cartel coming after you. <laughs> um, what does the headline say? Exit out of this. Well, well, well. Fine computer work. Tracy Morgan leaves the woman that gave him a kidney. Yeah. So, I mean, the headline's pretty much the same as I said. Yeah. Um, 
If is giving your ex boyfriend your kidney in a time of need a little too far? His boyfriend. That, so I feel like you have to be married to give a kidney. Wait, so it, they were broken up already? Jay's no. married to someone else still, and I'd probably still give him the kidney. You're a good girlfriend. <laughs> You I wouldn't give him would? a kidney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't think Christine would be Jay gone? Ha- Jay has a weird set. Like, he has so many women that would give him kidneys. <laughs> I'd give everybody here a kidney. Let, Why let are we tell fighting you what about happen. this? Any one of us would give Jay a kidney. And then he would have some sort of a, a nervous breakdown about how that kidney is malfunctioning and it's your fault because you gave him a faulty kidney. <laughs> nice. This is why nobody should give him a kidney. Just uh, let him get a kidney from a stranger that he can't blame later. Uh, you can't give me a kidney and the simple payment... For that is that I'm gonna bitch to you about your stupid kidney. The rest of your life. <laughs> you go, yeah, I guess the kidney's all right. I mean, it kind of hurts. <laughs> Jack gave that to you. You go, you did. Was, it did. It seems like it's weirdly too big or something. I don't, I don't know. know. I feel it's like you like, gave you go, me your shitty kidney and, and kept the good one. <laughs> you, and you do something that would really hurt my feelings. You'd be like, how much cereal do you eat? Like, <laughs> enough that it shouldn't affect my kidney. Yeah, I'm always tasting Lucky Charms. I feel. I, go, like. I don't even like Lucky Charms. I like Golden Grams. Learn me, Jay. Yeah, it comes up. So yeah. this was Tracy Morgan's girlfriend. Friend, and then he got a kidney and took off. Good for Tracy. Um, Zach in Ohio, I'll, I'll, you don't want to take the call, but he has a, a good hypothetical. If you had to say, if it was to save your best friend, would you transplant him your dick? I'm not sure why that. Wait, hold on, bring him up because I want to ask a question. Would plug the hole of the problem? <laughs> Do you lose your dick? Oh yeah. So you're dickless. Uh, you're dickless, right, you're, Zach? Yeah, Zach. Is it just a hole in balls? Yeah, it's just a, a hole in balls. <laughs> like you got to save your best friend's life. You just give him your dick. Would you give him your dick, even if he dips out? How long, how quick's the diagnosis? Like, do I have time to go make a baby? And then how him- old is he? Yeah, you got like you got like three minutes. Not even enough time to crank one out. Oh no no no! Sorry, bud. You're going out. <laughs> I'm the last of my I'm the last of my family. I got I got to try to. Oh, that's a great excuse. Yeah. I am. You're the I last could. of the soda name? I am. I'm the very last of the soda name. You of my soda name. Oh, so you have to keep you it going. You give everyone a kidney, but would you give Dan your dick? Me? Would yeah. I give, give Dan that my dick. dick? Yeah, you can isolate that audio, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> I could. I mean, hey, Jay, give me that dick. <laughs> I could if you want me to. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 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 Fuck yeah. <laughs> um, also... I also wanted to say I'm from Steubenville, and I almost died two weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, when you guys were talking about because it's the rape city. Oh yeah, yeah. Steubenville is the uh, the high school football team that um, Steubenville like they they got in trouble for they have like a popular football team in Pennsylvania, right? Yeah. No, it's in Ohio. Ohio, oh, Steubenville, Ohio. Ohio, and they have like a big football team, and the football team got in trouble for raping a girl, like filming it and like showing the video. The girls pass out drunk all together, and yeah. like and then like the coaches covered it up with the police so that the players wouldn't get in trouble, and shit blew up. <laughs> the coaches covered it from all angles. <laughs> yeah, like, all right, boys. Good run, job. And they actually watched the rape video as film. <laughs> yeah, go, 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 Johnson, go. Johnson, right there. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> that leg is wrapped around. You're supposed to be looking at the mirror, uh, out the window yeah. for trouble. You're hey, looking at your phone. Hey, Johnson, where are you right here? Where's your eyes? That Saturday, a girl <laughs> learned if you fall asleep around the Steubenville Titans, you'll wake up with more than three losses. On the play, <laughs> the cold winter autumn <laughs> of Steubenville, Ohio. The wind was stirring on the field. They say that rape can only happen in large cities, but the people of Steubenville, Ohio, proved different. That was their day That's of sa- destiny to prove all the doubters wrong. In olden times, a boy wasn't a man until he raped. And in Steubensville, Ohio, they believed in that. Ah, uh, but what were you going to say about Steubensville? I mean, that's it. Love it. Thank you for the call, Zach. That's a good hypothetical, though. It's a good hypothetical. And also, Would I give you my dick to save your life, man. I don't know. Dude. I don't know. You have a child already. Would you ask for it? No, I wouldn't be that dude. Can I tell you this? I know how much, even though you shame your dick, I know how much your dick is important to you. It's important to everyone. And I, can I tell I you? I want to see my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> coming home, Papa. I'm Jay, you keep, Jay, you keep your dick. I'm coming home, Papa. Jay, you keep your dick. <laughs> Gary, warm up heaven. Your baby boy's coming home. <laughs> warm up. <laughs> warm up, your boy's pair. Cut off corduroy shorts. Oh, Gary, home. if you can hear me, light up a marble red. 
Light up too, because your baby boy's coming up. <laughs> um, let's take our first commercial break. Sure. Just so you know, Black Chanel's on the phone, and she's asking if, Dan, she could possibly have uh, one of your babies. And uh, we're going to go to commercial right now, but the answer to Black Chanel, I'm sorry to inform you, this is no, Dan is, in fact, a racist. No, we'll be right Chanel, back. Chanel, 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 I'd love to have a caramel baby. Damn! <laughs> caramel baby. Woo! You know how much college? Free college. I can finally have rhythm. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Look at Black Lou moving now. We calmed him down. Remember he was all wound up before with that prison shit? What if I told now you Soft cool. Listening and Jay Okerson come together on one fantastic album? Jay sings the love is going. He hits the notes you want to hear. Me. Me and everything in between. Love is love to me. Now, with smooth oh. The crackle. Easy listening by far. Big J. Earth Wind and Fire. Comedy Central Radio. <laughs> Is that dogs barking? Uh, Jay, uh, that's Jay Okerson. I'm Dan Soder. What are you not give me a kidney and end that? I mean, you're gonna the world's gonna lose. What just happened right there? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not gonna give you my dick. I'll give you my kidney. Give Big me Jay, your dick and your kidney. <laughs> Big Jay's gonna be. I want your kidney served on a dick. Stop it. Big Jay is gonna be at the Funny Bone in Liberty, Ohio, this Thursday through Saturday, and then he's going to Chicago at Zanies in downtown March 1st and 2nd, and then Rosemont Zanies Saturday, March 3rd. Uh, for tickets and all other tour dates, go to Big Jay Comedy. Dot com. You're going to buy tickets for a show before the show? Why would, why would you do that? We got Chicago Dick's got to come out soon. Dan Soder right. going to be on This Is Not Happening. That's right. This Is Not Happening. Comedy Central this Friday, February 23rd at 12 a.m. Actually, that's one hour after... Ali, Ali Sadiq's Sadiq. special yeah, exactly. uh, airs our friend Ali Sadiq, who uh, you'll hear on the Lost Tapes tomorrow. You can watch the full uncensored version of Dan's story right now on cc.com. Uh, and it's you can actually, catch they just put it out on YouTube today. Nice. That's great. So, so it's on YouTube also. Yeah, yeah. YouTube link. You can catch him as in Chicago. Thursday, February 22nd through Saturday, February 24th, then at Helium in St. Louis. Uh, March 1st through the 3rd. Get tickets for that and all Dan shows at dansoder.com. Yeah. 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 Woo. Um, in Good Dallas. Going to send it. In uh, Texas, you knew this story, and I didn't know this story, but hot girls get bored easily now, so you got to do crazy shit, like set up their dads to get carjacked. It's, it's Isabella, you had a whole day of like crazy I want to know if Isabella would set you up to get carjacked, because that sounds like some cool stuff. That sounds like a cool way to burn your dad. That's what all the kids are doing this year, setting their dad up for carjacking. Tide Pod challenges and getting your dad carjacked. A teenager in Texas set up her dad to get carjacked and robbed in addition to robbing a friend on a busy Friday night, Susan, great name on a 17-year-old, Susan Miz. Oh, she could get her an old lady name. Yeah, my name's Rosemary. Sue? Susan was initially thought to have been a victim, along with her father, of a carjacking and robbery in the town of Spring on February 16th, reports the Montgomery County Police Reporter. Miz and her dad were held at gunpoint by two men at an intersection. Cops say the two men then got into the car and forced the teen's father to drive to the Miz family home. Stop saying me. I have to believe it's Mize. It's Miz. You keep saying Miz. I'm a wrestling fan. I know. Let me call it the Miz. <laughs> Awesome! Uh, for more money <laughs> uh, to the Miz family home. ABC Houston reports that Miz is ooh, also ooh, accused ooh, of ooh, setting up her ooh, friend. Oh, uh, this is where it gets good. Setting up her friend, aspiring rapper Preston Barry. By the way, when you see Preston Barry, he is lovely white. Oh, is he? Well, here's a picture of her. She's a model, apparently. Yeah, we'll tweet this out at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter. Yeah, she's gorgeous, but uh, it's... Yeah, I guess you said she just gets bored. There he is. That's... Oh. Aspiring rapper. Uh, his name's Preston Barry. I think his rapper name is Bullhead. Or, yeah, or or Cup of Mayonnaise. <laughs> that guy I mean, can't get whiter. He couldn't be whiter. Yeah, that guy is the whitest thing ever. If you told me he was on Team 10, I believe it. You tell oh, me he's a totally. rapper? What? Speaking do you, of do today, have it? Can we find any of Preston's rap? Can you look up Preston Barry's rap music? Please be on SoundCloud. He's got to have a rap Please name like DeRosa. Oh, God. Joey D. When he's not so popular, maybe he can come on the show. J.D. 
Um, JT get deep, getting deep. Um, yeah, I want to hear uh, Preston ads. Barry so much. I want to hear his rap. And you know, speaking of, by the way, we never actually did watch. Uh, the apology stuff of Logan Paul. the Team Ten, yeah, the Logan Paul kid. Oh. He had some. Cra- he's like, he's all frigged up, right? Like he's like booted off of everything. Is he? And they he tra- took the advertisements off his video, so he doesn't get paid from YouTube anymore. J- Logan Paul. So he's done. He's he was done. making like millions of dollars a week, and it just like stopped. So I mean, let's hope he saved his money and didn't buy a house where other runaways can live in it. Oh, Hamster he or totally bought a style. runaway house. Runaway house. Yeah, he's got it. They're, those guys don't. No, but he does something where he came out with another video like afterwards after everything like. Exp- what was it? Like? You're our teenage apologize. correspondent. He's apologizing for the whole thing. Yeah, he was like, apologizing for posting the video and like laughing at the dead body. But, but he did. He did like an anti-suicide. He, did, he, he like made yeah, a joke about it. Yeah, but he made like a. Didn't he take part in like an anti-suicide yeah. campaign thing? Yeah, that's what I want to see. Yeah. But uh, but first, oh, is this? Do we have it? Do we have Preston. This Bennett? is his YouTube channel. So I have him doing a cover of Justin Bieber. Yes. Welcome Don't to sh- Channel De Presto. Perfect. And Bruno Mars reaction. Um. Oh my God. He's a kid. Huh. Yeah. So this could be. Kids. Yeah, I wanted to hear his rap. What's up, YouTube? Preston here. I have a new cover for you guys today. I hope you enjoy. All right. Oh God, this kid feels himself too way too. You gotta go and get angry. <laughs> 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 oh, let it play a little. We got a new rule. Let it play a little. I didn't say you stop know it. I'm trouble, and I don't do too well with apologies. <laughs> oh, I hope I don't run out of time someone call a referee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just need a little shine. It sounds like when Cartman sings. And then another time I met a girl. Uh, hey, sorry, guys. I have to afrin real quick. Uh, <laughs> that school is hard. <laughs> I hate to compare in English. And I really do, girl. I mean, no matter... <laughs> And no matter what you want to say about my mom and her boyfriend's verbal abuse of me as a teenager, <laughs> at least I didn't do this shit. I never, I I knew from the second I sang out loud in the it? house, my mom was like, you are tone deaf. And yeah. I was like, I'll never sing again. And this fucked hard is just walking around going, yeah, yeah, yeah. he sounds like when Butters, he sounds like Butters singing, I've got some apples, Lou, 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 you've got some apples. And what's the, what's the girl's name? Uh, He's like, you. she totally gets me. Susan. <laughs> Suze. <laughs> Suze, tell me, is this good? I'm so sorry. And baby, I love you. <laughs> you started from the beginning again? She's like, it's pretty great. He I don't was, know. Like, I want to get to the hey, chorus. Hey, what's so up, bad. world? It's Sway. There's a whole other song by him, by the way. Hold on, he covers 24 Karat Magic in the No, he reacts, he reacts to it. Reacts to it. Uh, yeah, like, you ain't got the balls to go, Bruno. Hey, is it so late now to say I'm sorry? <laughs> oh. oh, fuck it. <laughs> Put your videos on private, you dickweed. It's not even kind of good. <laughs> hey, handjob. Put your things on private. <laughs> it's it. too late for you to make a sorry. Dude, he makes me feel like I'm I most sleep. vulnerable for a carjacking around the hours of 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. <laughs> if you put a gun in me when I'm behind the wheel, I will lock up like a deer. <laughs> Check out my video. Hi. Share, Check like, out my videos. Let's show your friends. My balls are up show in my Show your friends. Me worldwide. Oh, Preston, we're showing our friends. <gasps> rewind that, rewind that. He did the kiss. He, he did, did the kiss. He did 70 things before a kiss. He Hold gave on. a hearty Show's thing, worldwide. a butterfly, a crip sign. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking Yo. kid. What are the comments? Take care of it. Oh. What the Isabel, fuck? it's so good to have a young voice because she does let us know. I've never think look at the comments. Uh, I do in a fucking scared way. Well, for, the first one just wow. says simply, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 Uh, if you love me, I love you. Girl, nothing is true for you. It's too late for you to be so sorry. It's too late to be sorry. Let's see the, tw- let's see the Bruno Mars reaction video. Wait, I, I want to hear him sing it again. Channel De Presto. Oh, <laughs> Channel De Presto. A.K.A. Presto, Preston, <laughs> whatever you want to call me. Uh, kid that... Oh. Yeah, um, it's been a long time since I've been on YouTube. And, uh, dude, someone's got to put like an RKO out of nowhere on this. Oh, <laughs> Somehow, we're like, this, the, yeah. the, what's the sweet chin music? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a super kid? I want to see it actually happen. Like a guy just coming and bulldog him into oh, his own desk. Just, just going... Uh, God! Just a, a stone-cold stunner. <laughs> <laughs> stone-cold! 
with his hair. Stone Cold's in Texas. <laughs> He's just getting it yeah. from. I mean, this is uh, this kid. I'm starting to now. I see the second video. I, I it's clear that he is uh, a nerd, and this girl fucking. No, him. he's a rapper. Well. No, sure. he's a rapper, Dan. Okay. I, mean, he, I don't know if he's a nerd or the coolest guy in school. Like, I have no gauge I don't know on the either. Youth. Isabella, what's she doesn't feeling? know. What's she won't team? know. Yeah. It's a You're, different world wherever they're at. I'm also is, just, is this kid cool or a nerd? <laughs> 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 she just shook her head no. <laughs> this is Texas. Fucking pussy. Whoa. <laughs> All right, come on. Uh, I mean, Jacob, tell child. us how you feel, though. I mean, what do you think about him, like, sexuality-wise? Come on, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> Lou, come on. <laughs> You're a fucking fat oh, oh, Jesus, Jacob. Jacob. You're an HR nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate when he plays that. Yeah, <laughs> you had to know it was going to happen I as mean, you were Jay saying it. just blatantly set it up. <laughs> <laughs> for new bonfire listeners, I was quoting somebody who screamed that at me on the street. Hey new, bon- hey, new bonfire listeners, that's how Jacob feels about any man that isn't super was, masculine. And he was listening to that was Jacob quoting his leader in his anti-gay cult. <laughs> oh, Deb Doniger just doing what she does. I'm um, the only guy who could fuck this girl. Everyone's a fucking faggot. Oh. <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> Jacob. Right. We're not even talking about that anymore. <laughs> let's, play, let's play his video. Old Presto, a.k.a. Suicide Watch. This is him reacting to 24 Karen oh, Magic. So, uh, yeah. Um, but that's the hard to get. Let's get to the point. Um, I'm going to be doing a reaction video today to that new song um, called 24K Magic by the King Bruno Mars. At least I call him the king. You can call him whatever you want. Uh, call I call him. Elvis Presley the king. I'm sorry about this little buddy. <laughs> Hold on, I don't my think, friend. I don't think you're having sex with 14-year-old girls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Bruno Mars has tiny little ladies upstairs. <laughs> Pedo Elvis. Dude, Joe Rogan put up a video of Elvis doing karate, oh. which made me laugh. Yeah, it's great. I mean, on the train, audible laughter, where I looked fucking crazy because he's going... <laughs> Yeah, he's just going. No, he's he's laying down. He's got a guy, his knee on the guy's chest, and he's going. <laughs> and, then he goes, and then he gets up, and the guy goes, "That's those raw death blows." <laughs> yeah, Elvis doing karate. Yeah, that's it. That was it right there. This right here. No, go back. Yeah, right there. That's the guy. <laughs> that's All right. EP says EP in on the back of his gi with uh, and he's showing how you do it. Well, that's how it's done. All right, little lady. Here's what I do when a girl doesn't want to get in my van. Pedophile <laughs> Elvis. A pedo Elvis. We found 24. out that Elvis was 24 when he married Priscilla and she was 14. Pedo Elvis. I feel like I knew that already. Pedophile Elvis. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? What if I told you I had a Cadillac stuffed with furry animals? Stuffed animals. <laughs> you want to hop in this van or you want me to palm the throat you into it? <laughs> you got two options. You got the easy way, which is a whole bucket of candy. Or you got a fist full of action. <laughs> it's your call. You can, oh. <laughs> you can get my Kia or you can get some Kia. Rangadoo. 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 I, I, I played pedophile Elvis for Vecchio. There's a few things that I'm like, Vecchio, you gotta listen to this. That was the only thing and you kept going, a Rangadoo. A Rangadoo. 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 That was my old impression but, of Dustin Chaffin. Yeah. <laughs> that was my old Dustin Chaffin impression. Uh, well, it works great for pedophile Elvis. Rangadoo. Oh, let's yeah. go back to, Rangadoo. Let's Rangadoo. go back to Presto re- re- uh, reacting to the king. Yeah. You, I mean, you can call whatever you want. Pretty, pretty king-like. Yeah. What? King-like. Um, yeah, so... Um, <laughs> this poor kid. Right now, and Smoke I've weed. I've never heard it before, so let's see. You know, I hate to quote the great Sebastian <laughs> Maniscalco, everybody, but... <laughs> aren't people embarrassed anymore? Yeah. I mean, why is this kid not embarrassed? Why, where in your head do you're like, I'm important enough that the world needs this? Do you understand that when I... would have never... When I was a kid, I would have not made YouTube video. I do you understand you, I how, I'm, what I'm, I'm trying to say right now as an adult that who's profession relies on me promoting myself mm-hmm. every time i put up a picture on instagram or i send a tweet i go like this should i really even do this it's like oh here we go someone's gonna say something shitty about yeah. me <laughs> <laughs> it's like, these kids that put these videos up i'm like they just have no f- like they just don't give a shit well they don't let you bully anymore so i know that's why this. we all suck you gotta get bullied yeah we need a little bit of bullying so I'm, I'm telling you right now man it's if, a life I, lesson. if i had an, a good eighth grade i would have been obnoxious right now I would have been an obnoxious prick. There's a chance, for sure. 
No, you're absolutely right. Go out, play that. But I mean, I just this kid's going. He goes, the kid, you call whenever you want. Be that. And he's like, suck my dick. I'm paddling pre- about. I'm presto the majesto. Hey, why is this up on you? <laughs> yeah, pull it, buddy. Make your videos private because you're about to get shellacked by two Although, adult men that have nothing better to do on their radio show. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you are about to get yeah, yeah. the bonfire full service yeah. right now. We're about to put him through the J. Get the table. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to give him with the Dudleys. By the way, go to the Hall of Fame. You're not going to catch any kind of vicious humor like this on You Up! Yeah. Premiering Nikki Glazer's new show, You Up! Up! Premieres Monday. Actually, this Monday at right. 10 a.m. Eastern, 7, uh, 7 a.m. Pacific. Um, <laughs> make sure you check it out. In fact, Nikki's going to come on the show to promote it. She, yeah? She's, yeah. We, yes, we and we're going to figure it out, yeah. Oh, wonderful. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Um, so let's play this video of Presto reacting to Bruno Mars. Please. It's got echoes in it. Yeah, it does. He's doing a wine tasting. Uh oh, he's feeling it. He's won a lot of Grammys. Oh, this reminds me of uh, Uptown Funk. Yeah, the, yeah. The, you mean the thing that made him a lot of money? Yeah, he basically did up fu- Uptown Funk too. Seems like another dance hit. Yeah, he goes. This is dancing. This is dancing. I'm getting um, I'm getting a pop vibe from it. I'm getting a little pop vibe on the tongue, uh, in the <laughs> ears. I'm getting more dance. Uh, pull, pull it up. The little piano is dancing on my palate. I think I'm a huge Bruno Mars fan. He's talented. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Lariat! That's when someone's just run in with it. Yeah. Well, I'll be honest with you. I want to carjack him now. Oh, dude, I get it. I get why she set him up. Oh, God, he's doing... He's doing oh, spend money. Man. Yeah. Oh, God. Is he yogurt? This kid needs a kick in his chest so his shoulders touch. What? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just pressing him. Well, anyways, this kid got... got Give up the I'm out of the car. No, shut up. It's not about the car. Can I tell you? Can I tell you? This is from the bonfire. I remember the name. I'm going to climb on top of the car. And yeah. Uh, <laughs> dude, this is the best. The station says that Miz, yeah, it's Mizey, whatever you want to call it, promised Barry. Mize. Why Press- do you, just, you don't have to say every letter like you're no. reading it no. phonetically. Jay, I'm my own person. Let me my fly. Mizzy. Jay, stop trying to bully me. <laughs> you need this or you'll be an asshole next year. Yeah, or I'm going to do YouTube videos where I, to, where, where I react to music. Guys, go, this is me. Hey, hey, we used to do a reaction to it when, when a new... Like, Queens of the Stone Age comes Queens of the Stone Age or something, when one I of his go. bands tracks somebody, he goes, goes, this is me. He goes, okay. <laughs> I, there's a light. There's like an al- there's like an almondy taste in my mouth. I think I'm having a, I think I'm having a I go, stroke. I go. This is. I, go, I think I'm having a stroke. Everybody. I go, guys. I think there's a carbon monoxide leak. I, I think I'm dying. I think I'm dying. I taste nickels and uh, everything tastes like paper. If anybody's watching live, please call the <laughs> send name of my house. Mike, if you can hear me, crack a window. <laughs> and don't hit a lighter. Don't click a lighter. We'll blow up. <laughs> and I think this is a gas leak. <laughs> Guys, this is definitely a gas leak. This new Queens of Stone Age, I don't know how it is. I think I'm dying. I smell like burning like burning toast. <laughs> and, uh, he goes, I, I, I don't think oh, I'm going out. <laughs> oh, is my face getting droopy? My face is getting droopy. Uh, dude, this is the best. She said uh, she promised Presto $150 to drive her and her friends to Houston. The report adds that Mizzy's friends were actually planning to rob Barry. Presto. Preston. Presto. This happened in the hours before Mrs. Father was carjacked. The 16-year-old, dude, this bitch has... They practiced on the rapper, kid. Dude, this bitch has balls. She was arrested sometime later driving Preston's car. <laughs> She's like, nice. Yeah. Oh, I bet he had a nice car, too. Uh, Susan believed Preston was an easy target, and the plan was for the males to rob him for the money in his wallet. This is the movie Bowie, man. This is all, this is all wealthy kids. Yeah, dude. This is all wealthy. Even According these pictures to her Instagram her. page, she's an aspiring model and represented by Explosion Model Management. I like they were lying, by the way. Look at her. I mean, her pictures are like, how old is she? She's 16. Really? Mm-hmm. Her page is littered with glamour shots taken by some, by 
Dallas-based photographer Jose Luis, who's on the run right now from the authorities. For I mean, she definitely has a young a child face. Like this. She has a young face, but I mean, like her. I mean, the pictures are not. He goes. These are very sexy. Yeah, she looks like a kid here being sexualized. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so Dan, so stop making it your screensaver. <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm talking about Jose Luis's. No, uh, I have in case I run into a cop. I want to show the cops. I go, I go, can, you believe this, can you believe this is happening? <laughs> you were to Pete Townsend it? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm a I'll vigilante. My, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for this girl. I'm doing my own investigation. This is my. This is my. <laughs> I'm a cop. No, no, no. I'm Pete Townsend this thing. What does that mean? Oh, I'm a. Is that a picture of her in Presto? <laughs> no. Oh, dude, this no, guy got. The, she, what definitely. happened is Preston has a lot of money. Preston was hitting. They on all her. have money. They, they all have money. Yeah, they all. Uh, is it, so you think this is just rich kid shit? Absolutely. What are her videos? And at worst case scenario, it's like the movie Havoc. You ever see the movie Havoc? Yeah, fucking a, I have. It's like that movie Havoc. It's like these are the rich kids that are like she's trying to get in with like some like hood kids. You know what I mean? Because it's it's Texas, right? Yeah, it's Houston. Yeah. Is it Houston? Yeah. So she's Houston trying. Area. She's trying to get mixed up with like a bunch of like rough kids from another part of the, U- the Fifth Ward, as the Ghetto Boys tell me, is rough. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's, what, that's what as Bushwick Bill says. That's not Halloween fun a weekend. Preston Barry was that trick or tray. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'd love it if Preston Barry did a uh, a reaction to Ghetto Boys. Goes, I don't know what they're saying. You can eat a Snickers to this. <laughs> you can eat. You can do a lot. It's like fun to Candy Crush while I listen to it. It doesn't consume me, but it's like got a nice driving beat with little tannins. I kind of like it. (laughs) This is my reaction. Um, Channel Depresto. You want to see why he got robbed? Let's play this video. Please. What's up, guys? My name is Preston Berry. Welcome to my new YouTube channel. Basically... 19 years old, just turned 19, from okay. Houston, Texas. Basically, what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be putting up singing videos, maybe a couple of funny videos here and there. I hope you subscribe. He's Please achieved like, none of those things yet. My videos. <laughs> Let's do it. Win. What's up, guys? My name is Preston Berry. They put it up Welcome a year ago and then just didn't follow through. <laughs> He's got ninety. So he's, got 90, he's got ninety-six subscribers, or should I say, Christine? Click the button. Ninety-seven subscribers. Oh. Yeah, we're in, Preston. We're in it for the long haul. Subscribe. It's around the screen. We think you have Thank your artistic you. integrity now that you've been robbed. Isabella, is this a legitimate career field for children now? Yeah. They think like I'm gonna be a YouTube star instead yeah. of like going to college. A lot of like some of my friends have YouTube channels that are just dumb. Garbage, right? Do you watch your friends YouTube videos and then I watched one of them and it was so hard I couldn't get through it like Do, do you troll? No. Okay, good for you. <laughs> Stay no, yeah, don't do that. You have good parents. Don't troll. <laughs> They're both sitting in the room. You have good Well, here's his Graham. I mean, yeah, Lou said he had some videos on the Graham. Oh, look, it's his, it's his car. He's a Mercedes. I go, oh, Swipe dude, it. that's the car that they robbed him for. Good for you. By the way, I think the heroes of the story are the girl that are the guys that this chick was hanging out with that were like, "Yo, you got a friend with a Mercedes Benz SUV." Hey, Preston, you uh, want to give me a ride to Houston? <laughs> Is that the G wagon? Yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's like a 19 Car- year old with a G wagon. Carlos, well, we don't know Carlos, how much they took. Is that the car was? Yeah, Carla's thinking about robbing him now. <laughs> well, why don't you carjack him? <laughs> yeah. Look at that G wagon. <laughs> oh, look at him laying in front of it. Don't be mad. Just yeah. level up. Is it your dad's eat- money? Isabella, you could have ether ragged him when he was uh, reviewing, when he was <laughs> reacting to Twenty Four Karat Magic. Again, just the pompous nature of being like, you know, what? the world probably wants to see me hear this for the first time. Look at the comments. I, I think- actually think you should slaughter yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. I'm uh, on Bryce's soccer team. You know Bryce, your cousin. Well, hang on a second. <laughs> the, 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 girl, the girl, the girl who uh, did this crime on this picture of him in front of a G-Wagon. Uh, she wrote PB Gang Forever. Please find out what PB Gang is. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you release a New Year's album at least? That, oh, ho, ho. The, ba- the fans deserve something. She's fucking with him. I mean... Off-White should sponsor this. Dang. He would give a kidney. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Jacob knows a kidney donor when he sees oh, one. Please. He goes, this kid would give a long... Jacob only knows that because mm-hmm. he uh, <laughs> cause he also did a reaction video to 24 Karat he went, Magic. He goes, okay, it's pretty good. I feel like a shark swimming in some shallow water right now. <laughs> oh, did you hear that bass drop? We're in deep water. Oh, good. Gills are covered. Yep. Gills are breathing in and out. <laughs> Body feeling good. Butter? Peanut, Peanut butter, butter gang? gang? 
Is that what rich kids are into? Peanut butter? I get it. I Is that it. what the wealthy kids are doing? Now? I put it on apples. It could be Playboy Gang. There's a couple different things. Coming it's a up. sensual. It's a. It's a sensible snack. Uh, wait, you said there's videos of him. I mean, I can't believe we're going on in a hole in this. Fuck. You want to take a break? No, 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 no. Wait, what? real quick though. Look at the. Bring her mug shot up. It's crazy how, like, sexualized and adult those pictures are of her. Well, the way her body looks and everything. Look at her mugshot, dude. She's a—I mean, she's a child. I said, child. I said, child, child. I said, oh, child. child. Oh my God, that's her. It's a See, little kid, her. man. That's a little girl. Yeah. And Dan, the things you were thinking about doing to her just two minutes ago. You were saying that. Oh, Jay, I was thinking about Preston. Lou, when you were copy and pasting it onto your screen so you can use it later in your crazy, gross, tawdry lifestyle. I just heard Lou. I just heard. I just heard (laughs) Lou breathe through his teeth and go, "She looks perfect. She's fine. She's fine." He goes, "Don't talk about my queen. That's too old in Mexico. (laughs) Seventeen. Yeah. 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 (laughs) Yeah. Let's take our break. Let's take a break. We're gonna come back with a great guest. We'll be right back." And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. I'm sorry. Could it be too late? I'm sorry. Never wanna do Hey guys, press dog. Hey, what's up? Sorry. Hey, what's up? It's Dan Soder. I'm gonna do a reaction video to Jay singing Justin Bieber. It's too late. I'm sorry. Mm, okay, I think he's got it's lyrics in there. I'm sorry. Uh huh. Yeah, definitely. It's still pretty good. Uh-huh. Oh, still good. It is the Bonfire Comedy Central Radio Series XM95. I'm Dan Stutter. That's Big J Okerson. And oh. our guest in studio will be at Go Bananas in Cincinnati this Thursday through Saturday and at Union Hall in Brooklyn on March 6th. Please welcome back to the show Sean Patton, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Sean Patton back on. Go to <laughs> me, Sean Patton. That's P A T T O N dot com for tickets. I didn't have a thank you. I didn't have a good enough Justin Bieber. Ian, oh, uh, I would have jumped on the set, but then it's like, then you're the guy jumping on the thing 10 yeah, minutes after in, it's dude. over. Well, I'll tell you what, if our friend Preston Barry taught us anything, it's, you don't really have to be able to sing the song, but you just jump in. Yeah, you just jump yeah. in whatever you want, like this. I'm too late, I'm sorry. Too, right, hang on, guys, here comes too late, I'm sorry. I want to know, without looking at it, what is, what is the lyric follow it? Because that, what is oh, that? Oh, we don't know, and I don't think anyone else knows. I'll tell you, let me hear it once. Huh. Go back. Stop getting to the mega mix part. <laughs> Yep. Did I just, no, I did I just go fuck just, myself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Lou, you're the boss, buddy. I'm sorry. Lou just shut the show to a screeching hell <laughs> pattern. That's what I'm calling. Oh, shit. That'd right. be great if Lou just shut everything down and he would just middle finger you. I don't know what yeah, Christine, bring up the lyrics. Right here it is. Hold on, dude. Right. Okay. Do you know the answer, Isabella? What, which part? Right here? Answer, yes. answer sorry. Don't tell me if you know. Because I'm missing Shut more than just your... Oh. I'm missing more than just That's your body? what it is. Of course. That's what I always well, wait, say. Wait, a second the one. What's that mean? I know. Oh, Preston. I know. What is oh. that? What does he... What does that mean? Yeah, I know. I let you down. It's just he's Sorry. Sean, can you just well, what take does that a, mean? Sean, Missing? just take an apology. All right. It's all right, it's all right Justin. We're cool. <laughs> yeah, Justin, mm-hmm. calm down. Sorry, but what is it? What is missing my body mean? Oh, man, give me one what more taste. Mean? Like, he misses, give me one more like, taste you, of like, emotionally, like, not just... Me? Dance order? Yeah, ah. you. Oh. That's just your fat hog and great body. <laughs> there's a more, there's a, there's Justin, more you're a about to catch this when I come back up to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Biebs is about to get pounded out. Can you play the Preston one? Yeah. I would, please play, please okay. play the press one for sure. I would actually Four watch times. that just out, like out of like curiosity and also for like scholastic scholastic studies. What to watch? Me? You and Justin Bieber. Oh man, I'd have to be top because I feel like he's got a big See, piece. But you, but that isn't the bottom, the dominant, the boss. I don't think so. Like you're driving you're the a, ship. Oh, is this the guy? Yes, yeah, this is this is him covering it. This is nice. Oh damn, on a piano, nonetheless. There's no playing. No wonder he had to carjack someone's dad. No, and don't be don't carjacks. be ashamed, by the way. This is going to make you want to move. If you got to move, dude, I mean, move your body, man. Here it goes. Explore the it. space. Right here. Here it is. <laughs> right here. Oh, what? Oh, oh, shit. I didn't know he did that. By the way, he has 4,700 views on this. 
Oh. Wait, is someone in the background wailing? So. Ah! <laughs> it's an animal. Make- <laughs> is, that, is that in the video or is Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Here it is. It is. I'm sorry. Yes, it is. It's way too late. Missing more than just your body. This kid should be diamond cut. Oh, my God. You're missing your body. You're missing the note. That's what you're missing. Fuck, fuck a wrestling move. I want to see a rear naked choke. Is that it? Is that where he stops singing? No more singing videos? Did this get enough bad? You got 4,700 fucking eyes on it. But oh, I got, four, oh, got 4,700 eyes on it, but I'll tell you what, I mean, those comments are not friendly. <laughs> it's horrifically shitty. Oh, Jake, <laughs> give him a kid. Give him a chance. Oh, <laughs> uh, William Hung. Wait, yeah. But, but, like that kind of bad. Oh, by the way, he doesn't even know how to edit his videos where he gets them to turn off the camera. Like it's a 90s camcorder video. What's his name on YouTube? Nutsteak? <laughs> that's yep. not. No. I mean, that that's, that is what it is to me now. Nutsteak. That's what it will <laughs> always nutsteak? be. Oh, oh nutsteak, yeah. Nutsteak sounds like a great username. Wait, I'm, uh, am I wrong? So this kid was in, he co- He was colluded no, with this he girl? Got no, he was the up practice by this girl. He was the practice dummy. He was the practice dummy. Oh. She robbed her dad, but before she did, her and these two guys robbed him. We well, you know what was interesting about this story? You maybe already covered. How, how much of this have you covered? A lot? All of it? Pretty much all of it. But did, did, it, did you cover the part about how the dad ran into the house without the daughter? And lock the door. No, called, there, I don't know if it's in the print yes, you had in the I copy. I did see you that. I did see that like part. He, yeah, like that's some real. He split, just, left her out, and then he and then he realized. Left, it. Yeah, he just like, left her there. Just left her. Like it, either he realized before, like wait, this bitch is setting me up, or very possibly. he's just a jellyfish. Deserve, <laughs> deserve to be carjacked. Dude, Run, so baby! Yeah. Yes. I can make another one. I mean, these pictures are <laughs> for, for, for how old? Sixteen? Yeah. Oh Jesus! She's seventeen. Now. Look at Black Luke. Couldn't wait to say that. <laughs> Black 17, Luke goes, bro. Goes, 17, which is totally cool in New York. <laughs> I checked it. I checked it. Texas is 17. It's cool. So it's actually most 58 states. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's only 40. Mm-hmm. Wait, I know, but I want to double down because I'm so sexually attracted. To I, still feel like taking yeah. a picture, I still feel like taking a picture of her like that as a photographer. You're like, uh, this is a little dicey. Yeah. I just, it's a sca- the, 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 like my cousin is a, bo- sells boats. Like I get Instagram when you're a comedian or a, an artist of any kind or a butt model, whatever. But like, but like my cousin sells boats and there's thirteen thousand plus posts and she has like ninety six followers. What? Like, yeah. why do you want that much coverage of yourself out in the world? Yeah, that's just... Why that's do you just want that much... Mental problems. Just, why do you need that much... Oh, that's what I was saying with yeah. this kid. I'm like, I'm so blown away. Because the other thing he does is a reaction video to Bruno Mars' 24 Karat Magic. Uh, it's a reaction video. That's all. Just, just reaction like, video. This is what I think. And I'm some saying, like, the idea, though, the problem is, it's been, what we're saying yeah. makes sense to us yeah. and, and is rational. Yeah. But we've been disproven enough times where there is a nonsensical millionaire out there and a bunch of, there's a bunch oh, of nonsensical yeah. millionaires yeah. that we're like, I don't know. If you're this boob kid from uh, Texas yeah. who goes, the world wants to see my reaction to hearing the new Bruno Mars song first, like, Sometimes that works out. For and sometimes them. they make a lot of money. How do they? I mean, the guy watching sponsorship? the guy watching the people play video games at PewDiePie, right there. Yeah. A million, 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 million. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not going to, now that I'm saying all this, here comes the hypocrite in me, because I, I did enjoy watching videos of all the online blogs of the people reacting to Hodor, Hodor's death in Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah? Like, I did enjoy watching all these fucking... The reaction videos? All these fucking, like, it's like, you have no, like, you, that's really how you reacted. Not just because you have Wait, a please bring this up because I I'm fucking so curious to watch the Hodor reaction. Oh, videos. buddy, yeah. Why? Well, it's wait. It's, spoiler alert. What happens? Hodor uh, yeah, gets accepted to college in a special program. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're all just so excited. Okay. <laughs> right. And he, I mean, there's a bar where people they allow themselves to be filmed crying over Hodor's death. It's like this is. This is the narcissism at its best. Yeah. Well, like, go. I want you to see me feel. Watch this. Watch this. Guys, ready? Jay's going to punch me in the stomach. <laughs> Not going to freak out. Not going to freak out. Well, that's all the people at the bar. Look at him. Oh, oh God. I'm like, yeah, cut that dead weight. Look at that dude. Look at that fucking dude. Like, you want people to see you in that state? This 
is a level of, this is a certain type of vulnerability that I, why do you want that out there? I've never watched any movie where I was hugging my own body during it. Like, yeah. oh, <laughs> well, then you haven't no. watched the Roch movies. No. Yeah. You gotta start watching real good movies. <laughs> no. No. Is Daniel gonna lose the whole All Valley uh, tournament? I love it if all of a sudden we see a shot of Jay here. He's yeah. in Chicago. <laughs> Jay's got a beer behind Jay, him. Okay. Jay has to go to Chicago to feel. Yeah. Well, I don't care. I don't care, man. This is the only place that sells Malort in town. <laughs> oh, you want a shot of Malort? Yeah. Oh, that stuff is great. I haven't tried For, it yet. Only uh, time, rough. Only time like I went to... Uh, yeah, nope. I, I got snowed into Chicago, and I went to the Green Mill, and I was still drinking, yeah. and the bartender was like, ask for a shot of Malort, and this fat woman that was behind the bar bartending with like a bad hip, and I go, can I get a Schlitz and a Malort? And she goes, you want a shot of Malort? <laughs> I go, yeah. She goes, why do you want that? I go, I don't know. She's you fucking it. mind your business, lady. Yeah. You pour it, you old How about pig. I, I'm going to bust your other hip if you don't fucking pour this thing. <laughs> she poured it to me, and it is fucking gross. And the problem is you couldn't. Her other hip's made of pure iron. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See? yeah. I, hit her with, I hit her with a bat, and it just went, pink. What kind of gross? Black licorice gross? Yeah. That it, thing? It is. Yeah, it it is, tastes is, like turnip. Yeah, it's liquid. It's basically, it's um, it's liquid. What, what's, it, what's it called when you say a swear word? What's that? Uh, category called Jesus Christ curse word my brain doesn't Swear work word. at all in this exact Cuss? moment curse word profanity it's liquid profanity because uh-huh. when you take a shot you're fr- you're like fuck shit it's, 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 gross. Gross. it's, it's gross. so it's like you're tasting uh, it's like a tree vomited in a bottle yeah. it's really because it tastes when, earthy as well like the woman when I took the shot she was like why did you do that why would you do that? Why yeah. would you? Has anybody else here tried it? Lou, I feel like in your travels. No. I mean, I Malort? You've never tried Malort? No, I would, though. Oh, man, yeah. That Wait, was... look up, if you will, could you look up uh, Malort, um, Malort billboard ads? Because this shit's gold. This is why Malort's actually funny, because they know how terrible they are. So oh, yeah. I know it's like yeah. Chicago's thing. is like, try this gross, gross. Try this A guy had Fenoya liquid. do it and then apologize to him afterwards. He's like, I'm sorry. That's a Look, read thing. that. Okay, this is this is great. There's a billboard where they had the. Uh... <laughs> Your wife just had twins. They were joined at the head. My yeah. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. Yeah, yeah. It was a billboard. Oh wait, this is the the, the 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 dweebs reacting still. No, but that that was just the Chicago bar. Tonight's the night you fight your dad. <laughs> yeah. Jepson's Malort. Yeah. That's their advertising campaign. Cover your home in a dick. <laughs> Tonight's the night you fight your dad. Yeah, it's a great. It's like they know what they are. Oh, I like that. They a, own it. We're you know? shot in Chicago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's good for them. Is there any videos of people like, like, like drinking it? A reaction yeah. video? You want me to get off the wagon to do reaction videos? <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm Dan. I've been sober five years. It's going to be me doing shots of Malort. <gasps> I would love it. Oh. And then you can only drink Malort. Oh, that's my <laughs> thing. Malort on the rocks? That's my thing. Uh, I no, Malort one, neat. I go no to this one thing. bar. I go to this one bar. It's got Malort. I bet there's Chicago bars in New York here that have Malort for sure. Absolutely. Um, people from Chicago reacting to the first hate of Jepson's Malort. People not from Chicago. Why? No. How you doing? This is Dennis Farina. I'm going across the world letting everyone <laughs> I mean, try some Malort. Oh, the lead singer of is going to try it. Oh, Here we yeah. go. This guy's going to take a shot of Malort. He's on a scooter, which I've never wanted to see someone... He just did it. Wow, look at that. Oh. It's like watching babies suck Great. on lemons. <laughs> you know, you know, at the bonfire, SXM will tweet out the video. Of Is it that kind of it bad was, that stays with you, too? Yes. Like yes. Stays yeah. With yeah. That reaction was very... This guy looks like they shaved down one of those wolf boys from Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> that guy before him's reaction was very Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was very such subtle. Such a perfect yeah, description like, of that guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He goes, I was a wolf. Ten hours ago, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that I used, shit's gross. I used to be afraid of the moon. Now, I'm, now I embrace it. Now it gives me my power. <laughs> my lord is the only thing that defeats the curse. Uh, it gives me my power. If I am drunk on my lord, the moon does not take me. I do not become Wolfman. Yeah, my lord's fucking. My lord's the only alcohol they say that. Did the wolf boy drink it yet? Nah, he's. Yeah, you want some? It's from Chicago. Oh, is this because it's like gives my lord to foreigners? Is this people not from Chicago? I don't know. This looks like a goddamn. Uh... Hey, he looks like he picked these guys up at a bus stop. Yeah, it's like everyone hanging outside of a U-Haul. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, yuck is no good. Well, that's your first taste of freedom. Welcome to North Chicago. Yeah. Suck on that, you foreign fucks. Get the goddamn fuck out of my town. Now, that's how I tell if they can stay or not. If they well, can take Malort, they can stay in this country. Yeah. You guys are all hired to shovel Wrigley out when it snows. Hey, Wolf Boy, you're up. Yeah. Hey, Malort's the only thing, the only liquid that when you butt chug it, you get instant diarrhea. A lot of people don't know this 
This is actually made from the neck sweat of Mike Dicka. <laughs> Malort is a liquor made from refrigerator Perry's tank. Does it smell <laughs> terrible? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, It's rough. God, you know what's really funny? Guys about from China love it. Uh, <laughs> they put it in their Frosties. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be one of those upside down test tubes with some in it. <laughs> My Frosty. Hey, it tastes better than having to kill your third child, right? Yeah. <laughs> they go, hey, how good's that shot? It's better than having a daughter, am I right? Eh, anti-natalaws. They're tough. Wait, the fucking... Uh... The, the wolf boy won't try it. No. They're going to get him, though. That's going to be the big finale. Oh! Oh, never. <laughs> you know what's funny about Chicago? All the goddamn rabbits. Here you ever goes. notice that? No. There's a ton of rabbits. Just if you're in Chicago, they're like squirrels or oh. rats. You see rabbits bouncing around. Oh, yeah. Wolf there boy he is. does not like it. <laughs> I mean, that's the perfect description. I mean, for that was Jay. yeah. Does anybody have a vi- can you put violent reaction to drinking, my lord? I like when we would drink things who are bad. Like some people. Things are gross. They can just be like, ah, that's not like I have a. Pr- I'm pretty violent reactor. Dude, you're to, fun- to you, things I don't Here's like. the thing about Jay that's fun to watch. Is he does like, if he doesn't like the texture of something and he eats it, he's like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> he has to get himself through it. Or he's like, come on, and he chews it up. It's great. Are you a textural guy? Oh, real and taste though too. Okay. Both things, but texture is my big thing. That's why I don't like like. Like fatty meat gets in my mouth, I'll spit it out and I'll stop eating. See, that's my oh, uncle yeah. had my uncle nervy chick, a chicken that's like a little gristly or something. Oh, I'm with you on that. It's I over. I, or I've had like a burrito where I bite something crunchy in there, and I'm like, well, I'm not. I'm. I've had I'm burritos I've, I've, over. I'm gonna give this to some stranger on the street. Yeah. I don't want this. I've had a chicken wrap where it's if the chicken chunk is too chewy, I'm like, that there's something fucked up with this. I can't eat. Yeah. This. The the no no no. My uncle has no sense of taste, so he's a texture guy. Okay. So okay. he like yeah like there's certain like he, Wait, loves, he has like, no sense of taste. He <laughs> burnt. He, I I don't know the details, but they because he's never told me. But like it's something to do with a fire accident. He like burnt. He singed his sense of taste away. So he gets, or, or he has just a very mild like it's it has to be like really salty. But for health reasons, he's just a texture guy. Jesus. So for him, it's like God damn, I love a good mouthful of. Pasta. Jello. <laughs> a good mouthful oh, of penne all, only. Yeah, only penne. It's soft and chewy, and it just moves around at a different pace. This guy's talking too much about the Malort. Just drink the fucking Malort. We don't take the call, but Sean from his truck says it's been 23 years. He can still remember the taste, unless you want to take the call. But uh, he said he can still remember it. But I, that the, the muscle memory of it uh. smells. Like- also with alcohol, I can remember exactly what... Captain Morgan spiced rum tastes like, and I haven't drank in five years. And I haven't drank. It's been Cap- five years, by the way. Yeah, I haven't drank. I haven't drank Captain Morgan's in probably fourteen years, and I can remember it. Today wow. is the today is day fifty-two uh, for me. Nice. How you Look that, huh? Congrats, buddy. I'm smoking a lot of weed. Yeah, <laughs> and I didn't. I quit smoking weed for like seven years. Now I'm like, it's pretty great. Well, I <laughs> I did. I was in Denver, then Vancouver, then L.A. Back to back to back earlier yeah, this year. All great. Weed and it's please. all like you know l- recreationally legal. Yeah, everywhere. And actually, Vancouver has a weed bar that when you walk in looks like the set of a movie written and filmed in the 90s about legalized wheat. Really? Where it's just like, everyone's got owns a skateboard or wheelie shoes. Yeah. There's candy bar <laughs> and there's giant games like everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. like, everyone's sitting at a bar where there are just bongs set up and people taking rips. And I'm it's excited just a to bar. go to the fucking, I'm excited to go to the comedy mix in May. Oh, buddy, it's right around the corner from there. Yes. It's on Davie Street. It's amazing. <sighs> I was just uh, in Vancouver and I, that's what it was. It was before the new year and yeah. that was the thing. It's like in the New Year, I think. Like, I, nice. A couple play, right? And then California, too, right? California. Massachusetts, apparently. Please, too. can we watch this video? Can you oh, back yeah. this up? Who's this? A woman crying, but I just want to watch her. Her <laughs> fresh out of, her fresh out of my lord. Oh, uh, okay. There it is. She just shot it. Oh. What the fuck is that? Oh, my God, what is wrong? She's pounding on her chest. What is that like after a- yeah. yeah they have to That's do. the taste of northern Chicago, you stupid bitch. Yeah. That's the taste of the greatest defense of all time. That's the 1985 Bears. Stop this focusing on the taste. Look at all the bunnies hopping around. It's yeah. right in there. Take your minds off the, the taste I, of my lord. Empty, empty eyes. <laughs> Dude, that'd be great if she why would why react. would but why is this even a video? Because that's what the internet yeah, is. You're right, Christine. Yeah. Now this is how great the internet is, though. Now look up shot of Malort vomit. <laughs> oh, it's got to be there. Of course, uh, that's what shit. would happen to me. I would throw up. I, I'm so bad. Like, do you like, throw up easy? Yeah, and, and I hate throwing up. 
Do you, do you cry when you throw up? Do you, go, you know what's funny? I don't throw up very easily, but I definitely get the gags quick. Like, if I said I get a piece of weird chicken and I go over, like, Ooh. the process, I'm walking it over to the, to the trash can. Like, I'm taking it over to the trash can in my mouth still, like, almost with this thing of, like, like I gotta get and then I spit it out, and yeah. over the trash can, I go, like, I go, Pleh. and I just, like, and I just start thinking about that it was in my mouth, and I start going, like, Bleh. <laughs> like, uh, I really start, I'd get the dry heaves big. I still think that would be an amazing superpower, to be able to just vomit on command, Dude, like I'm, projectile vomit on command. I'm telling you, I couldn't do it on command, but if I got nauseous, just like a little bit nauseous, because of my drinking days, I was able just to fucking throw up and get it over with. <laughs> something about, I've, not, I've always wanted to tell you this, and here's the proper context, something about you, you have the body type that just says projectile everything. I could just <laughs> shit, you <laughs> come, like, like everything. shoot like, it Big barfs, <laughs> giant <laughs> shits. I remember. Huge loads. I remember. I uh, too much piss. I ended up getting. I ended up having the flu, but I was. Uh, I went on. Op- so much snot. When I went on. Yeah. <laughs> when I sneeze, it's just huge. Just projectile everything. But I went on. Uh, I went on. Uh, this was like years ago. I went on Opie and Anthony, and they had like a shake, like a health shake, and it was had cayenne in it, like spicy. It was spicy. And I didn't feel well. And they were like, just do a shot of it real quick. Do a shot. And I did a shot, and I was like, I'm going to throw up. I'm I'm just going to throw up. And I just walked to the bathroom and threw up. And they, like, wanted Sam Roberts to follow me and, like, record it. And I was just like, because it was right when after I quit drinking. So I still had the skill. And I was like, And I was like, I'm good. I'm good. I I had, we had dinner last night, like, a little, like, right away after, like, very few bites. I just felt very, like, uneasy in my stomach. Do you guys, guys, are you guys susceptible to food poisoning? I am. But like that and food poison. Will it be for days at a time? Uh, no, I can actually rebound pretty quickly. I wish my entire body was as functional as my digestive system. I'll get food poisoning for like twenty five minutes. That's it. Yeah, and then my body and I get, I get it. It knocks me out for a day. I and will. Half. I will. I will. Like the, the my body will pull the fire alarm. Yeah. I will evacuate my everybody systems. else. I will get really cold and then I will be fine. Really, it is insane. Yeah, and like I've, a half had, I've had it be. Like, yeah. I think I'm a few hours of like being like sick from food. Where I can oh, dude, it. it's it's like my one gift, dude. I might, I'll never forget this one specific case of food poisoning. Is I was trying to, and I've t- I've told this story about this girl before. That girl genie that I was in love with that just strung me along and was always like, next time we're hanging out, we're gonna have sex, and then she <laughs> never did. And she drug me along from 16 to I want to say 23. Yes, that's and just the good never thing. ever slept with me. Never we made out. That was it. And I came home from college. That's how you make a comedian. Median. Yeah, it's absolutely you're goddamn right. It is. I came home from college and my mom undercooked. We had scallops. My mom, my mom's a great cook, but she undercooked the scallops and I ate it. And I was hanging out with that girl Jeannie at a house party, and I was like, Ugh, oh god. And I like felt it. And I was like, you should probably just go downstairs. And I just got my car and went home and was like horrifically food. I've had food poisoning for like two days. When you drove home, did you need GPS? No. Because another thing I have, perfect sense of direction. Perfect sense. I just like talking about my many gifts here. Yeah, I want to know what you're saying. <laughs> by, the way, by the way, just, you know, I had a thing, uh, and Carla would remember this, I think, at Ship of Fools restaurant up by the comic strip. Yeah. I went there to watch an Eagles game years ago. Ship and, of uh, Fools? Or no, it wasn't, it wasn't even an Eagles game. It was after uh, the comic strip one night, and I got, they used to have good buffalo chicken strips. Okay. And I ordered them and picked the first one up and bit into it, and the, the middle... Of it, like the first, like you know, the texture felt right when your teeth hit it, yeah. and it looked the part. But once you, it was raw chicken, oh. in the and I didn't bite it off. I, I just, I just like took my teeth off of it, oh. and then you looked and saw it was raw, and then it was just walking down the street, going, ah! <laughs> <laughs> like I, was, I didn't throw up at all because there was nothing to throw up. I was just blown away <laughs> by how horrible. Did you were you do, were you with them when that happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's rough. Can you not? Can you not just sue a place for that? I don't. Did I didn't even think. You? I just wanted to get away because I was making so many weird. If uh, to talk to the manager about it, uh. he would have been like, "Sir, what's the problem?" And I'd have been going, <laughs> just shaking my hand and freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my mom would never eat McDonald's ever. Whenever I, we went to McDonald's, I always wanted McDonald's when I was a little kid. My mom would never eat it. She told me when she was in college, she ordered a Big Mac and they just put a fucking raw patty oh. on it. Oh, dude, there was, dude, there was, a, there, but by the way, under a, there was like you know a Big Mac's two patties, uh-huh. so there was a cooked one, and then under it was a raw one. And my mom was like, <laughs> like every time I was like, "Mom, you get McDonald's like frozen? Like, they're frozen." Uh, it was like it, uh, I don't. The way she explained it was it was pink. It was like it was completely raw. 
Was it McDonald's? Yeah. That seems weird. They come like frozen already. Back in, it's back in the 70s, though. So uh, you know, uh, that's, that's fair enough. Might have been some new shit. Yeah, that might in, have been... The- well, if you okay, my dad had my my dad is a catering comp like a catering company, family catering company. They have the, the Food and Drug Administration in the nineties launched a campaign of they made a character out of Salmonella, Sammy Nella. I shit you not, and it was just posters. not Salmonella. No, sa- yeah, exactly. Dude, that way, made much more Sammy sense. Nella. Dude, by the way, my dad always one of his drunken jokes when he get hammered, yeah. he'd be like, "I'm just gonna leave this and become a lounge singer named Sal Manila." And I was like, "That's awful. You're hammered. I'm Go to get away from this place." I mean, I, and he'd be like this. I'm have a dancer named Gingivitis. You're gonna, like, see, you. you're gonna yeah, see him in it, dude. You're gonna yeah. see him in heavy. He's gonna bring you to his residency. Yeah. Lounge singer Salmonella. Told you, kid. Yeah, I was, told you I'd figure it out. I didn't die. I was reborn as Salmonella. <laughs> Damn it, Gary. I could have used you. Uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> Do we want to take our last Let's break? Let's take our last break. And now. then come back with this Elvis clip that Jacob's obsessed with and we started talking about oh, Elvis. Yeah. Any sure. Elvis-based shit uh, I've been You into. know Elvis married Priscilla when he was 24 and she was 14. Oh, seriously? Old enough that to bleed. I not know. Old enough to butcher. Harang a dang do. Harang do. Harang a dang do. There's one thing the king likes. It's barely legal. <laughs> <laughs> little, little girls with patterned panties. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Pigtails. I really get off when a woman's afraid of the dark. Oh, sorry, not oh. sorry. Harang do. Harang do. do. I can't wait do. We'll be right back with Sean Patton. It's the bonfire. <laughs> And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Not Bruno Mars, Elvis Presley. There you go. That's not fair. Mars is vicious minds, dude, when he does that. When he does it live. Yeah. Was, you can't hold back. Because I love you too much. He does those crazy little flips. That's so great. It's the Bonfire Comedy Central Radio Series XM95. Mm-hmm. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. Sure. Joining us, Sean Patton. Hello. He's going to be at Cincinnati in the Cincinnati at Go Bananas. You can catch him uh, this Thursday through Saturday. And then he's going to be at Union Hall in Brooklyn, New York, March 6th. For tickets and all other tour dates, go to MeSeanPatton.com. And of course, Big J. Sean, let's get fucking lunch or something this weekend. We're both in Cincinnati. Are you, wait, what, really? He's in Liberty. Uh, Jay's going to be in Liberty. At, wait uh, wait funny for this bone. plug. Jay's going to be at Liberty, Ohio, the Funny Bone, this Thursday through Saturday. And then at Zany's in downtown Chicago, March 1st and 2nd. And then Zany's in Rosemont, Saturday, March 3rd. For tickets and other tour dates, go to BigJComedy.com. Yes, possibly. We'll link up Friday night or something. When are you flying? I'm flying tomorrow. tomorrow. What time? 10 something? Out of where? LaGuardia? LaGuardia? Yeah. Are we on the same flight? Yep. Are we on the same I flight? This, I can tell you the flight. Oh! Are, you on a, are you on a Delta flight? Oh! I have on a Delta oh! flight, buddy. Oh, Hold on. The sky miles. Are we on the, I do sky miles. Are we on the same flight? I, 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 I go to Chicago, but do you guys go? I, Here we go. Here we go. Oh, God. I'm so excited. Well, why is Delta telling me they don't have a flight tomorrow? That's right. uncomfortable. Oh. Wait. Hmm. This is weird. Cincinnati. Here we go. Ah. Uh, Hang on. I want to say it with you. If it's the right... Here we go. Why is it not doing this here? Oh. It's doing me... <laughs> I got it in my thing. Hang oh. on. I have it in my email. All right. I'll, I'll get this. We'll make this happen, and we'll say it. We'll, we will read it together. I like the idea of that. All right. Here we go. As soon as I find it, you know, it's going to be so great. It's going to be... All right. Here we go. Oh, hit. Hang here on. Is. Here Wait. It is. No, not yet. Still oh, waiting to get mother. Delta. Time oh. to check in. Oh, and there we go. It, it is uh, flight DL... <laughs> Three, three, six, six. six. Yeah. Holy shit. Dude, dude, I don't want you guys. Do you guys know what seats are in? Do you know I what do. seats are in? I do. 2A. 3D. You guys are both first class. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. yeah. They bump you up a lot. It's as first as you can be uh, in yeah. that situation. Okay, guys. Well, wait, hold on, hold on. You're in you're in three you're in two A, you said? Yeah. Here's hold on, 3D. I want to see if I can switch and sit right next to you. <laughs> <laughs> God. Hey, any other comics? If, any other comics working in Chicago? If you're flying out of New York, tomorrow? <laughs> it'll be super fun to hang out together. I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna be flying in O'Hare. Oh, that's fucking that's crazy. And then, do you have to do press Friday? Go bananas doesn't make you do press. No, they're pretty they cool. Me, about, yeah, they've can't. Mine radio got canceled, which is fine. Mm-hmm. But they're but they're still gonna keep the Good Morning Liberty yeah, Ohio uh, whatever Jesus, TV that's show. The one you don't want. I don't want to do the TV shows. The one I don't want to do. Yeah, you want to do Wait, radio. Jay, you don't want to do TV. What seat did you say you're in? Two A. Oh, you're in two A. You're in the solo row. Never mind. We can't. Oh yeah, sit. we can't I know sit which, together. Bro. I know which side of the plane. Sorry. I'm on oh the yeah, the other one side. row. Yeah, there's the one row and then yeah. the two. Yeah. It's the one row. Uh, yeah, I mean. 
what you having press and him not having press, you're like, oh, you're lucky. I know. Well, also, it doesn't make I mean, any sense because you've actually got like fans who will come out, and I'm still trying to push people. To- <laughs> <laughs> right, we still need more people to come out for sure, but uh, Wait, they, they're, they're, not, they're not coming from fucking, they certainly aren't coming morning from TV? Uh, morning TV. Well, that's what's crazy is they, uh, I just got a text from St. Louis from the woman who I love, Meredith. It's great. She runs all the helium Trotter. PR. Yeah, but she texted me like, "Hey, can you come in Wednesday night to do press?" And you're like, "Yeah, you know we have a show six to eight p.m. on Wednesday nights. That's just press. It's just us walking, for, talking yeah. press, yeah. man." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, it's so crazy when comedy clubs are like, "Can you come in on Wednesday night?" And you're like, "No." And then they just don't understand it. You're like, hey, we, have sh- we have a show that also airs on Thursday. I'm trying to explain that I that probably has more can't listeners. do Sundays uh, half the time is, is an explanation. Oh, dude, still. I fucking put my foot uh, down on that shit. Huh? I put my foot down on that shit. No, me too. I don't do... Yeah. Well, I, I had it at Levity this okay. last weekend, but that That's, was... It was a holiday Wait, when you, you, and you're in town. Are you... Uh, what, was it, how far away is Liberty? I don't know where that is. It's Cincy. It it's, is, it's Cincinnati, it? basically. This is a different town. They call oh, it Liberty. Oh, dude. Let's go get chili and all that dumb shit. Sure. Is there a bunch of cool, like, Cincinnati? We can go down to Kentucky and go uh, yeah. find some toothless act- people. Actually, downtown Cincinnati, there's an area called Over the Rhine, which is like their, I guess, Brooklyn slash Silver Lake. Yeah. Let's go there. Okay. It's fun. There actually is some cool shit to do in Cincinnati. Guys, can you stop rubbing it in that I'll be at Zany <laughs> Chicago this Thursday <laughs> through Saturday? Yeah. Hell yeah. Dancehunter.com. You want to go? That's to- where he is going to be in Chicago, everyone. And then Helium in St. Louis, March 1st. Through the third, get tickets, tickets for all so I don't have to go do press on a Tuesday at dancesoda.com and try to keep him from having to get on a plane Monday morning to do morning <laughs> yeah. TV to work to do a to do a week of press. Oh, look at that. Look at I that wish map. I could start. Look uh, at that map. <coughs> all right, look at that. Real, little oh, junk. Close, yeah. Also, uh, there's a there's an event uh, every weekend in Cincinnati called the No Dan's Allowed. Hey, uh, that's not cool. <laughs> if you want to go hang out at the No Dan's, hey, fuck they off. have the best barbecue there. We <laughs> should all go. I'm gonna pull my gigs from Zanies and do a one nighter in Sharonville <laughs> <laughs> in Loveland. <laughs> yeah, so suck my dick. I'm pulling all those fans. <laughs> Sharonville. Uh, we were talking about Pedo Elvis earlier. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the king. We sure was. Presto brought up that Bruno Mars was the king. But did we never play this clip on the show? No. no way. Now, you want to set it up, Jacob? Because you're, obsessed, yeah, you're I mean, obsessed with this. To give you a little background, when I was a kid, I mean, before Airwolf, we're talking about years, like, uh, I think this came out in 1981. It was a documentary called This Is Elvis. And we had just gotten cable. And they were showing it on Showtime and, and Cinemax, I think. It's great. And they kept replaying this. And I was a I was a young kid. And it's, the, it's a documentary about... Uh, Elvis on tour or almost like the that was taken I think in the last year or two of his life towards the end so he's yeah. pill, he's, and he's the fuck jumpsuit out. Elvis pilled out karate it's crazy. Ex- I've, I've thinks he's this, a karate expert I watched this a lot as a child this it's documentary. fantastic it. because you really get a glimpse of how bad he was and how his what they call his crew how, but they just kissed his ass. Anything they wanted, oh, yeah. anything he said, yeah, they that's laughed why that at. Joke. That's why that joke. Tiny, tiny Elvis. Yeah, Memphis that's right, Tiny. Mafia. Yeah, the, the Memphis Mafia, and that's why you see like Red has got the the guy is also wearing a gi, and Elvis just does this karate move that anybody could get out of, and, and Red just falls to the ground like Elvis took him out like Bruce Lee. <laughs> but it's got to be hard when you're around someone that famous and powerful, and you just have yeah. to keep being a sycophant. Yeah, and just being like, you're the greatest. Yo, you know, Absolutely. tiny. But the, but the but the but the clips. I found this clip because it it had always. My friends and I have been quoting this one line for thirty five years now. That's in this, but we'll get to it at the end. But you've never heard Elvis talk like this until this documentary because he was always like the. Everyone loved Elvis. Your mom loved Elvis, and mm, you got him in the. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, you know, he's a. Uh, <laughs> And now this scene is him in a limousine with his oh, sycophantic Memphis Mafia crew, and apparently they're in the Elvis's. There was some launch, uh, rocket launch on TV, and this is where Elvis takes this clip. Isabella, bad I news. This. I know you don't know who Elvis is, but it's because you're too old for him. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. You're younger. You would have been right in his wheelhouse. <laughs> you're you're younger. You'd know all about Elvis. It's like, not the- Jay, I'm a big fan, but I want to meet. Now, we'll listen to how his crew just busts out laughing at this, but it's still, you've never heard Elvis talk like this before. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Elvis, you can see, the, you can see it I had in the sky when it sandwich. disconnected up there. Gigi and him saw the explosion. I didn't know it. I had lunch. Because they just launched right over here. I had lunch. I, 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 was, I was buried in a beaver. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> how was your lunch? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't have sound. Just make sure. Watch out, Elvis. There's a mic up there. 
So he goes on. All right, I'll leave that way. He's seeing how he's buried in a beaver at the yeah. launch right over there. But the better now. There's another clip. Uh, Christine, it's crazy to, to look one. at him and be like, "Man, those impersonators really do nail it." Though. Nail, no. <laughs> fucking nail. Yeah. I mean, they. I wasn't alive for Elvis's popularity, but good God, did they fucking? I was, make yeah. it. I, was, I was born. When did he die? That's seventy-seven, right? Nice. Was it 77 or 70? 70, 77 or 70? I, was, I, think it was, I think he died like three days. 77. What's August the date? 16th. Oh, so yeah, 77. I was born. Oh, God. I, I, I was born the same year. Like now, here's a clip. That's crazy. If you've never heard oh, yeah. Elvis talking about Elvis. getting blown, you're about to. Nah. <laughs> Elvis is talking about getting blown? You know it. Yeah. Take off time will be at 8.15. Oh, he's back. He's doing prop He's stuff with Carrot Top. Hey, Joe, I think I gave Jeez. Do you remember that? Two Elvis doing outrageous karate moves on stage. Do you remember that doll? That's what it's called. This is Elvis because you go, it's like, you think you know Elvis? This now. is Elvis. <laughs> you know, th this guy's a prick. The last quote, the last one here, Elvis is in Hawaii now, and he's in a limousine, and he's just gotten off stage. And this is the line I've been saying for 35 years, because it's completely bonkers, like they should come with a net and just put it over his head, because he's just, his friend just is commenting on how Hawaii's... Uh, humid? Humid, and Elvis says the following here. <laughs> Man, can Hawaii get sticky? It's a hot time in Florida. Boy, it is. Thank you. Rainy night in Georgia. <laughs> He's so happy with himself. Uh, so happy. That was the self satisfaction it, in that. Wow. Cuckoo. Just, Hot and out of for Running out of the door. That's like, that's so sweaty. Yeah. Why, don't yeah. you guys, why don't you guys take that home with you? That's, that's, I mean, you got to watch the whole hour. <laughs> It's a it's a great he goes, hour. He goes, uh, hot night in Florida. Right. I'm gonna think I'm gonna watch this whole documentary. Is it only yeah. an hour? This is Elvis. Is it only an hour? I think it's only an hour. I thought it was longer than that because it goes to like him performing like at the end of those big state like casino -y stages. Yeah, and stuff. yeah, yeah. This is all about <coughs> jumpsuit El fat Elvis. Yeah, it's so but they great. play. I remember they play. Everybody was kung fu fighting to clips of him performing karate. Man, that's that that is there. You go, fame. Put you oh, at a point where just like I don't, I can't tell if I'm on a set or on a stage, or I can't tell anymore. He goes, "Who are you? Do I have sex with you, or do you give me drugs?" All right, right we're having fun, right now. guys. Where's Priscilla? That dog gave me the best head. I'd like it if it was uh, actually a dog. Yeah, he goes. You guys remember that basset hound I took home to my hotel room and sucked my dick like I couldn't believe. <laughs> yeah. He go, Elvis, you're getting sideways on us. Like you think you think that guy's being a jerk by calling the woman a dog? It's like no, he's being he was yeah, acting. It was a beagle. Elvis fucked a, a goddamn beagle last night. He goes, I mean, it's hard being in this crew. You got to accept bestiality. <laughs> There's yeah. more. Christine, can you bring up uh, Elvis doing Suspicious Minds from this? It's, it's in that documentary, right? Is it? So, wait, yeah. that's the one you're talking about? Oh, and when he's I like, yeah. As yeah. I recall, Jay, there's even one move where they're showing Elvis doing karate, but he, he knocks Red on. Red has got like a chokehold around Elvis's neck, and Elvis does neck a neck push. And oh, El that's and what Joe Rogan put flying. up. That's what Joe Rogan put up. Oh, is that right? Yeah, that was the video that made me laugh that started this whole conversation. I mean, come on, man. He's like grabbing him and he pushes and then he Uses flies. neck power. Oh, dude, that's great. I love that. I Christine, love go back. It's not, it's not sycophant way. karate. I love New York. There's it's a lot of yeah, dog parks that here, you know what I mean? Oh, I, I don't, I'll just go to the dog park and I'll take I like my pants off. I like to find me a warmer warm here. Oh. Just go to the end of it. Oh, he just talks. I can't walk out. All right. Right here is where he starts wailing. Because I love I mean, when he catches it, dude, he goes big. Greatest entertainer. I can't walk I mean, he's split up. Yeah. Because I love too much, man. What? Well, won't you know? Oh. Oh. That's great. That's, dude. that's the best. I can't walk oh, you think he's done? The only thing that's better than watching this is watching Jay do it at the same time. Too much, baby. <laughs> Oh, hold on. Don't you know I'll call him. Oh. He goes, I love little girls. I like dogs and girls. <laughs> Find me a Rottweiler. Big and strong. Big German head, man. You know, I like German shepherds, <laughs> they're good for military dogs. 
they're also good for licking peanut butter <laughs> off of my ball. What's, the, what's the song? There's a famous clip of him where he... Uh, I mean, I'd blow Elvis after that. That, well, was, that was pretty good. That's a great performance. That's pretty good. Yeah. What's, the one, sweat? what's the one where he uh, forgets the words of the song? Love Me Tender. Yeah. Is that what he is? Right? And he, then he starts giggling and he, he goes, starts laughing at himself. He's like, blah, 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 and then some other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, dude. dude there's no at way. the end, he was out of it, man. Dude, yeah. and, that, and that's what's... Out out he's it. so lucky that yeah. YouTube wasn't around or Instagram. Oh, or he'd be he's a like, laughing stock. Yeah, he'd be like, watch Elvis just crash. How old was he? 70, uh, how old was he when he died? He was 40. 40. 41. Oh, 42. Jesus. God, dude, that's what happens when you get fucking popular when you're 21. Yeah. No, this isn't it. The, that's not it. Just all the. Was it's he a old dope guy? Yeah, he was a pill guy, right? He was a yeah, yeah. barbiturate. Yeah. Um, what it's called? Right this is mold. Elvis. Yeah. And is it on Hulu? Is it on Netflix? I don't know where you can find it. I'm I mean, I haven't seen shit. the documentaries since. But I, I just saw this clip on YouTube, and it's by the way, it's not. Let me tell you, it's Are You Lonesome? Oh, yeah. Hey Priscilla, bring That's me a right. bring me a bowl of quaaludes and a Boston Terrier. He goes. I'm wondering <laughs> if I got a 12 year old girl in a Labradoodle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering if you could. Uh, Labradoodles weren't around back then. He'd have fucking lost it. Right, right. Oh Jesus he Christ! Goes, you're bringing a poodle and a damn Labrador. Uh, hey, I got a six shooter and some expendable friends. You want to have some fun in a hotel room? I got a guy. I don't. I, don't, I got a guy I don't trust and some black tar heroin. Yeah. <laughs> is this is where he forgets. When he starts doing those. Speech at the end. You lied when you said you love me. You swear. It's crying? Without any hair. I'm not. He says he tries to be funny. Back up. If you will come back to the stage is bare. Keep going. He looks like shit. 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 He looks like shit in a suit. You lied when you said you love me. You I have no cause to doubt you. But I'm really going hearing your lies. Living without you. I like him. That makes me like him. And the stage is bare, and I'm standing there without any hair. I don't know. <laughs> if you will come back to me, <laughs> I'll hang with you. He goes, I'll stop. He goes, your heart. No, it's, it's, it's back before that. You know, somebody, somebody actually goes, hey, blah, 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 and some other stuff. I think it's earlier in that speech. I just love that he goes, oh, sorry, everybody. I checked out in 1974. See, there, and there's two types of people. People who live there would have been like, I was there when Elvis kind of fucking flipped, like lost his shit a little bit, and then yeah. they had to, like get it back. It was kind of funny. And the people who were like, hey, I paid money. Yeah. And he he goshed up a lyric. I've often thought about that with... He, uh, with like uh, Guns N' Roses. Are you happy to be at the show where he shows up three hours late and it's like no. national news? Yeah. Uh, me either. I'd rather just go smoothly. But Or would you like to be when Jim Morrison went and did two songs? Look, we didn't even talk about it. Marilyn Manson the other night went up in Long Island. Got weird, rambled on stage. There's video of that. He rambles on stage you and then that? just leaves. Like really? he, did, like, he did like three songs or something. Yeah. Because I'm just tired and I'm fat and I'm hungry. Fat Manson. I'm Fat Manson. I'm so fat I'm dark and... I'm I'm tired of cutting my nipples with beer bottles. <laughs> he goes, oh, oh, Dad, your nipples are bleeding. Christine, bring up Manson leaving the stage. Uh, can you can you do two shows and then leave? That's him getting hurt. I can't believe this is already a. Is that him there? Yeah. Rambles, oh melts yeah. Down it's, on it's, stage. A, it's a it's it's a wrap. That's <laughs> Marilyn Manson. Oh. Yeah, it bums me out every time I see it. This was uh, in Huntington, Long Island. At the pa I was doing, I was doing Levity Live, where I'd have been at the show for sure. Jesus. He does not. He just keeps. He just rambles nonsense. Fast forward, fast forward more towards the end. And if you're a fan, you're like, oh, dude, he's talking. He's going to ramp it up. Nah, yeah. Knowledge, bro. Knowledge. Dude, Maryland's is getting into it, dude. He's There's some cool it. moment coming, you see, maybe. You see bowling for Columbine? He fucking knew what he's talking about, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> he's dangerous. <laughs>
It's so weird that there's just like a whole crowd and you're just standing on the on the amp like mm, fuck this. And just having like a, I don't care if these people if these people are gonna leave pissed so I can give a shit. This is why I sometimes get jealous of musicians because you don't actually have to acknowledge the audience at all, really. At all. At nope. all. You Not have to. All. You don't yeah. have to have a connection with them. Yeah, yeah. You just have to go there and do, do your shit. I always feel like, bad. Like when it's, you see young bands and like places that are barely yeah. like there's no one there and they're just playing their songs and people are like these guys are pretty good. You're like that wouldn't make it that far in a comedy show. Oh fuck no. Because there'd be no one there and you're like this guy's not funny. Yeah, yeah. You need to yeah it's like the, the wait Mar- i saw marilyn manson in 1996 he, he yeah. did actually he did actually break a bottle which took him a few tries on an amp and he did actually cut oh no shit for like, sure j- just no, absolutely. maybe I don't, not not much but he cut himself on his pectoral till he bled was that in new orleans that was in new orleans because they were new orleans that's where, that's where they recorded antichrist superstar really they were down there with trent reznor yeah they got uh, some weird Crazy house where something terrible happened, and, yeah. they, uh, and dude, that's gotta yeah. suck about being like a uh, being like a horror <laughs> a rock star. Man. And then, <laughs> and then they went to New Orleans. That is hilarious. Yeah, when yeah. you're a horror rock star, and you have to like do horror things, but then it scares you at night. Yeah, you're all. Yeah. You're like, Can I, I sleep have... at the Holiday Inn? He goes, I got Charles Manson's body stuffed. I have it in a glass case in my hallway. And then every night when you go to bed, yeah. you gotta be like not look at it. <laughs> and you make I the noise. Go to, I don't want to see it before I go to bed. It's yeah. creepy. You make the noise when you walk by. You go. The place was called. Yeah, the place, uh-huh. called, the place called the Rendon Inn. Just throwing that out there for anyone listening who was there. That's where he recorded it? Or no, no, that's, that's, where, where, that, that's where that show is, like 95, 96. Um, they, I, my friend bummed Trent Reznor and Marlboro Red 100. That's right. Really? And he just handed it to another guy. Oh. He, he just like, it, it was a bar on Decatur called, uh, I don't fucking remember what it's called, right down the street from Molly's on the Market, if anyone is listening from New Orleans, just paranoid about that. Yeah. And, he, <laughs> and he was just around, and we were all teenagers, just smoking cigarettes, and he came out and he's like, then we got an extra, and it was like, oh, that, that, that. And by the way, everyone yeah. was smoking back then. Everyone was smoking. Everyone Outside. smoked. Yeah, you everyone. forget how many people smoked in the 90s. A lot of cigarettes. Everybody smoked. And he, you it was my time. I was the early aughts. For Were you? Yeah. yeah. I was smoking in the 90s, and it was kind of just like everybody had cigarettes. We were just like, hey, can I get a cigarette? And it was like, what kind of cigarette you had? Like, I remember You're like, hey, let me take stuff. my headphones off. It just takes some time. Little bit in the middle. <laughs> hey, you want one? I go, hey, is this G- yeah, I'm Can I get shorts to- on that? I'm yeah. listening to the G- Jimmy <laughs> World. <laughs> <laughs> Take your head. That's a great way to see in a, what year it is to establish in oh, a take movie. Take the headphones off. Take yeah. the headphones off. And it's just like M E T H O D man. Go, oh, this, is a, this is a '90s oh, piece. I, you <laughs> always get what you give. Don't yeah. give up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, you're like, hey, can I buy my cigarette? I can't hear you. Go, I'm only happy when it rains. <laughs> let you go, let me see. I goes. I only think I have one left. Let me look though. Uh, uh, take these headphones. Phones over here. I was walking in the park. <laughs> Are you listening? To, you take it off. Are you listening to Land? Yeah. It's a kiss single. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me bump, uh, bump, bump the jams. <laughs> Are you listening to Jock Jams? You go volume two. Uh, My worst dude. kiss single purchase. I've been thinking about you by London Beat. I've been thinking about you. <laughs> do, do, do. I've been thinking about Jesus, you. Jesus, that is just a. That's like a therapeutic thing that just happened to me where I like officially tapped into my past. Yeah. Hearing that, I'm like, Jesus, things happened around that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kiss singles. Kiss singles were great. <laughs> oh, Sean Patton's going to be yeah. Echo Bananas in Cincinnati this Thursday, February 22nd through Saturday, February 24th, and at Union Hall in Brooklyn, New York, March 6th. For tickets and all the tour dates, go to me, Sean Patton, S E A N, me, Sean Patton, dot com. Uh, for all of his other shows. Sean, thanks so much thank, for hanging hey, out with this Thank buddy. you for always having me when you guys do. Fuck it, That's right? a weird way That's, to say that. that but thank you. It's like you just learned English. That is. It's a, uh, <laughs> we have an <laughs> awesome, awesome Lost Tapes coming tomorrow. Uh, guest uh, Ali Sadiq pops in. Unbelievable. Uh, he's got his hour special coming out on Friday, so make sure you DVR it at 11 p.m. and then uh, This Is Not Happening. Follow that up with Danny Soder on This Is Not Happening. But I recommend you go watch the YouTube story because it's 20 minutes. And it's uncensored. Full, it's yeah, uncensored. Yeah. It's the full story. It's the way the story's supposed to be told. Yours is coming out this Friday. No, oh, mine's coming out next year. Next year? <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they did two seasons. Two seasons. Did they really? Yeah. 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 Yours is this season. I don't know. Stop yeah. yelling. Exactly. I'm 
language. <laughs> I have to go do media Monday. Damn, so I, I can't watch. hear you. I saw. I was walking in the park. <laughs> it was uh, the, uh, last week. <laughs> Sorry, I'm guessing. Yeah, wait, you blabbly plurf. I swear to God, a booger almost a shot out of my nose. Len, uh, uh, I did see both of your stories live. That was that. We all did them. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yours were great. You guys are great. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. Uh, so thanks for hanging out with us. And on behalf of the whole crew here, uh, me and Danny Sodes are going to see you next week. Goddamn right. Crack, crack. Later. Enjoy the lost tapes. Bye. Bye. Bye.